stars. Four hours in a rented gym that still smells like socks and childhood trauma, and where did it get us? Other than bored? The band wasn't even looking for anything specific. We just wanted change. We wanted to see who was out there, if they'd show up. Well, they showed up all right. You know, I had a dream where this exact thing happened. Except we were on stage. And naked. We were auditioning? Not all of us. Okay, it was just me. I was naked. I think this went better. Hey, we should consider that. We could be the naked band. Coming soon to a really private auditorium near you. You know, somehow I believe you'd actually do that. Yeah, I'm gonna go with a hard no. Okay, let's just wrap this up. Kaz, do you need a ride? Just to Brian's. I'm, uh, crashing on his couch until I get a new place. What? You said it'd be two days. You know you like having me around. Whatever. Have you heard yourself snore? Hey, Grace, you okay? I know you've been kind of loose hens since you left college. I was just hoping tonight would... Cheer you up. <laughs> You're always looking out for me, Freddy. <sighs> well, that's the deal, right? Best friends to the end. <clears throat> right. I just wish it wasn't always so one-sided. Hey, <laughs> hey, don't, don't worry about that, really, Grace. You'll get through this. Music is your life, Freddy. You're the drummer, the lyricist. All of this was your idea. I just... I wish I knew where I fit. I think you fit. You know that, right? Yeah. You coming? I'm gonna hang out a bit and lock up. I'll see you at home. Like a boat lost at sea with no sails, not a breeze. I am drifting cold waters, no star to be seen. Is the world too much or is it just me? Everything I set upon unravels at my feet Everything I've learned wasted on a girl who doesn't know how to be free Like a boat lost at sea With no sails breeze I am drifting cold waters no star to be seen oh uh <laughs> sorry <laughs> I, I didn't mean to interrupt I just I heard you from outside my name's Calliope you you have an amazing voice. I hope you know that. Uh, thanks. I'm, I'm Grace. Are you here for the audition, or...? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, I am. Okay. Did you, uh, bring an instrument, or some music? I...
kind of bring my music wherever I go. <laughs> All right, well. With the fire furious, I have burned my tongue. Grief from all the promises, too many dreams unsung. All the steps I didn't take and paths proved untrue. Is there any path through? Like a boat lost at sea. Oh, I'm about to Your song was just so wonderful. I had to finish it with you. I hope that's all right. I also know what it feels like to be lost. To feel as if you have no place to turn. That's why I had to come inside. Well, I know why I feel that way, but what's your story? I'm reaping what I've sown, I think. <laughs> this has been a, a very long time coming. Ouch. Sounds harsh. May I ask you why you feel so adrift? You're so young. Surely your life is just beginning. It would sound stupid. <laughs> Try me. Well... I left school because I didn't feel like I belonged there, but I still haven't found my place. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Where am I supposed to go? Shouldn't I have figured this out by now? Those are good questions to ask. I should go. Uh, about the audition. I'm sure everyone will agree you're in, if, if you want to be, that is. I hope to see you again, Grace. <laughs> Perhaps soon. Right. See you then. Did you lose your keys, Fred? I thought you'd be... What the... Calliope? I didn't know where else to... I'm so sorry, Grace. What happened? Who 
did this? It... It doesn't matter now. I didn't want to do this to you. I... Not like this. I'm so, so sorry. What do you mean? Hey! Calliope! Please. Please, come on. Oh, um, I can wait. Take your time. I... Who are... Is that my door? Technically, it's my door. Or our door, maybe? I, um, I came as soon as I could. Uh, uh, hold on, who are you? How did you get here? Through the door? I mean, geez, how did you get here? <sighs> she really is dead, huh? Man. So, the course is gonna want to talk to you. It sucks, but, you know. I... I don't understand. None of this makes any sense. She's dead, and I... I, I don't... Look, I can see you don't know squat about this, so I'm gonna explain real quick, but then you gotta come with me, okay? When Cal died, you saw a shiny thing come out of her, right? That was her soul. That's what made her a god. A what? It's in you now, which makes you a god. Surprise, right? You with me so far? Cool. Let's go. Sorry to drop you and run, but when an idol dies, there's like a hundred different things I gotta do. No, 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 wait. Where did you bring me? How did we get here? The chorus can explain. Don't touch anything. Okay? Wait! Come back! <sighs> okay. Yeah. I'll just wait here and, uh, not touch anything. Our beloved sister, the last of the Muses, has passed on to you, our new sister, delivered to us by dear sweet Hermes. It's, uh, Grace, yes? Um, yes. Oh, my, my. You have had quite the day, haven't you? This is... It must be a mistake. I don't have any idea what you're talking about. 
Nor should you. We go to great lengths to ensure mortals believe they are alone in their great big world. But we aren't. No, no, no. Oh, my poor dear. I should explain. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Athena, goddess of wisdom. This is Apollo, god of prophecy, dressed for the occasion, as always. The wondrous Aphrodite, goddess of love. And the one glaring at you is Persephone, once queen of the underworld. Together, we are the Chorus. We rule over the idols, our name for the gods who remain. All of us, hidden in your modern world. But gods aren't real. They can't be, they're just- Stories, myths, legends. If you're real, you'd be all powerful. You wouldn't be hiding or- mm. Don't pay much attention to those old tales about us, Grace. They weren't very true to begin with, and, well, truth be told, we've diminished since those days. That doesn't mean we're helpless, of course. Far from it. Yet, at the end of the day, we two are just people trying to get by. Right, and you live here, not in some city in Europe or a... On top of a mountain? <laughs> oh, I know, I know. Once we roamed marble halls, and now, fashionably appointed apartments. We have Wi-Fi. <laughs> we move with the times, Grace. We have to, if we're going to remain hidden and survive. The mortals grow more and more clever with each passing century. Television! <laughs> I do what I must. <laughs> you expect me to believe that gods, sorry, idols, have been living among us for what, thousands of years? You're thousands of years old. Oh no, no, I'm not trying to make you believe anything, not at all. If you'd like to believe this office is right outside your front door, or that we are, I don't know, actors, religious fanatics, by all means. The only thing I do need you to grasp is that you are here. This is real, and like it or not, it is happening. Wait, you said, and Hermes said, that I'm a god now too, and an idol. That is true. That... That thing that came out of her that went into me. We call it an Eidolon. The part of Calliope's soul which made her an idol. Which now makes you one. Athena, we are wasting time. The reason you're here, Grace, the reason why we made you wait so long while we debated, is because we have rules. Those rules mean we can't admit into our ranks a usurper. <laughs> Never mind a possible murderer. I know this will all come as a shock, and I'm so, so sorry to say it, but I'm afraid you have to die. You want me to die? But, but that isn't fair. I know, I know, but consider it from our point of view, a dear sister. Someone who traveled with us through the ages, gone. But I didn't do it! Aren't you supposed to be the goddess of wisdom? Can't you see this isn't right? Calliope's blood is literally on your hands. But... It isn't... It... Oh, she looks so helpless. Maybe we should... We should do as we agreed. Calliope's line would end, yes, but... What other option do we have? Let a usurper remain an idol? Justice has to be done, for Calliope's sake. But... This isn't justice! If you are lost, little girl, the 
despair's explanation Dear child, please listen You have usurped a muse No recourse to be arranged But it's unfair I know, but our laws cannot be changed But she came to me You must realize there are simple rules If one of us dies, these rules have been the tools that she You must know, us. I didn't do it Is it weird this isn't song? Now that the muse is gone Now that she's gone Disagree. Did I hear that correctly? You've been quiet this entire time, Apollo. Why speak up now? I grieve Calliope's loss just as much as the rest of you, but I, I can't let you do this. He's right. What if Grace speaks the truth? What if Calliope chose her? <sighs> And what if Calliope was murdered by her? What if Grace stole her Eidolon? Then we need to find out. Don't you want justice? Oh, Apollo, I thought we'd agreed this was justice. What would you have us do? Um, don't I get a trial? A fair hearing, something? Or is that not what... Idols do. We aren't seriously considering this. Oh, very well. This one time. I put a motion before the chorus. Do we allow Grace the right to prove her innocence? Yes. I think so. Yes. <sighs> Fine. And there we have it. Wait, wait I I'm gonna get some help with this, right? Some direction? You say Calliope chose you. I would like to believe that. I truly would. You have one week to find out what happened, Grace. What happens after a week? There will be a trial. If you cannot provide proof of your innocence by then, oh. Our original verdict stands. Okay. Okay? What do you want me to say? I can't possibly do this. This is unfair. You know all that already, right? So I'll do my best. That's all I've got. We're not going to keep you, Grace. You have much to do. Before you go, however, a few rules. Do not reveal our existence to the mortal world. This includes mortal authorities that cannot help you. Do not harm another idol. Do not leave the city. Do as the chorus commands. Otherwise, do whatever you must to find the true killer, if they exist. Oh, that's all? Welcome, dear sister. And do help yourself to a cookie. Grace? Grace? Uh, hi. Hi! 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 You're kidding, right? When I came home, the door was wide open. You weren't answering your phone. Kaz and Brian are still out looking for... 
Grace... <sighs> we thought something happened to you. Um, yeah. Kidnapped. By aliens. Well, if you don't want to tell me, you don't have to. Big, scary aliens. <laughs> you were gone all night. Why didn't you answer your phone? I was calling and calling. This wasn't some hookup, was it? Because, you know, you can say it's none of your business, Freddy. Definitely not a hookup. I'm allowed to say that much, I think. Allowed to say? Like you're a secret spy? Have you been a secret spy this whole time? Because if you have, that's pretty cool. Hi there. Uh, uh, who is this, Grace? Why does he have horns? Honestly, that guess is as good as mine. To answer your question, my dear, you see the horns because I allow you to see the horns. That's crazy, right? As for who I am, I've been known most often as Pan. So you call me that, if you must call me anything. Pan, of the Greek gods, Pan, right? What are you, some kind of cosplayer? <laughs> the days of idols being called gods are well behind us, I'm afraid, but... I assure you, I am the real article. I've come to offer our newest idol a helping hand. Or perhaps two. You do look lost, don't you? So we can just talk about this in front of Freddy. Haven't you? Darling. And here I drop my glamour and everything. It's just, I was told we're not supposed to. Talk about it, that is. Talk about what? Grace, tell me! The prohibition is against revealing the idols to the mortal world. She's not the mortal world, is she? She can be trusted, can't she? Why do I have the feeling that I'm gonna regret not leaving with Brian and Kaz? Oh, I can guarantee it. Uh, okay, Freddy. Have a seat. Let's talk. Huh. That's it? Huh? I guess. Do you believe in this, Grace? You know, I'm... Taking it one slow breath at a time. It's been a long night. Yeah, no kidding. Well, I have a million questions, but I can ask them later. The important thing is that I am here to support my best friend. What did I ever do to deserve a friend like you? You sat next to me at lunch period, dummy. Oh yeah, right. My friendship comes with all sorts of benefits, up to and including the tracking down of supernatural killers. Such darling camaraderie. It brings a tear to my eye. It truly does. Speaking of killers... Whoa, whoa, whoa. You wound me, dear lady. I've come to offer advice to our newest idol, a foundling who is set adrift most cruelly. So you're here purely for my sake, then? Like a charity case? My dear sweet girl, as far as you're concerned, I am the god of charity cases. Mm -hmm. But you're not, are you? Pan was the god of lust and mischief. Doesn't sound too charitable to me. Ah, yes. The old tales of the gods. Such antics, such fantasy. Pay them no mind. You could be the killer, for all I know. Hmm, come to mislead you, perhaps. How fiendishly clever of me. Well called, darling. And maybe even true. Poor, poor Pan! To be eternally maligned and mistrusted. Alas, and alas, and alas. <laughs> 
<laughs> I doubt there's a line of idols waiting to offer you advice, Grace. But whether you accept mine or not is for you to decide. Seems rather convenient, you showing up with advice. How did you even know I existed? A little bird told me, if you must know. Very useful, those little birds. He's not gonna tell you, Grace. There's not much to tell. Among the idols, news travels swiftly. We are a tiny village of godly busybodies. I heard of your arrival, and I know how obtuse the chorus can be. So here I am. You're welcome. I still don't trust you. Nobody does anything for free. <laughs> now, 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 now. Who said I was doing anything for free? Ugh, here we go. I have not, however, asked for anything. As of yet. Okay, I'll bite. What's your advice? I have to admit, I don't really know where to start. Well, I'm not normally one to run amok telling others how to live their lives. But have you considered using your powers? My powers? Music, art, passion. You are the last muse, and all these are now your province. When I was talking to Athena and the others, they all started singing. Does that mean... <laughs> that was me? Let me guess. Music swelled as if from nowhere. Lips quivered, souls were laid bare. Uh, yeah, I guess. And yeah, that was you. Okay, but how does that help me find Calliope's murderer? Allow me to expedite the process of understanding. Now then, close your eyes. You hear that? It's coming from you. When you sing, what emotion does it summon? Um, I don't know. You open your eyes, you look into the crowd, and you feel... Powerful. Grace, you know that you're lost now. You've been given powers you don't understand. I'm the guy who can help you. All that you hear is at your command. Wait. No, it's okay, Freddy. This is all me? What do I do? Start singing. Now? <laughs> Why not? Time's wasting. got me shaking I don't know what I'm meant to do something in me's awakened but this goat guy thinks I'm some great ingenue I'm doing it now huh? <laughs> yeah. I don't follow girl. are those really actual don't horns control. and this singing is so hard to swallow <laughs> I know. can you hear me grace what's Here's going on about powers he could be dangerous what do you think freddy this map is uncharted let's hear him out i know how you feel me i'm just getting started i wish you could feel this it's kind of unreal grace have you gone delirious stranger danger could not be more serious you've been hurt before by mysterious men I won't let you get hurt again Lost girls, lost girls You all love your lost girls A rescue that you can't take home I'm so glad I found you Wolves all around you But can you survive on your own? What do I do then? Whatever you wish is yours. 
Grace, I'm frightened. It's okay, Freddy. I got this. I never knew I had that in me. Who's making this happen? This isn't a game. You don't understand. This has all gotten out of hand. Nothing for Grace will ever be the same. Lost girls, lost girls, you all. Or do you refuse and, like ostriches, happily stick your heads in the sand? Grace, I could be your right hand. Freddie, you better leave her alone. Let me do what I do or she'll sink like a stone. Lost girl, lost girl, I know I'm not a lost girl, but this is all new and I don't know what to do. Should I stay with my bestie? <laughs> This goat's getting testy. Won't be lost on my own. I'll always be home. I'm sorry, Freddy. If you're forcing me to choose, well, I guess I've got to go with Pan. You're kidding me. Can't you see what he is, Grace? I need him, Freddy. He can help me. As opposed to me, who's of no help whatsoever? That, my dear, is the power of a muse. To draw out the truth from within. I trust you can see how that might be useful in your... investigation. I'll make them sing a song of confession! <laughs> exactly so. But only if they did it, right? I draw out the truth, not make them lie or do something they wouldn't. Oh, you will be a natural at this, I can tell. Amuse does not command. She evokes. She elicits. She inspires. You find this helpful? Grace, he just... he oozes... Ugh. Grace is not wrong, dear lady. I am the most benevolent of benefactors. For all your powers, you still need a place to begin your search. And this I can provide. An address. In the city. Where Calliope was staying, I do believe. If you had that all along, why not look into it yourself? Me? <laughs> uh, conduct a search like some plebeian. <laughs> Unheard of. Now this, this I consider a favor. One I hope you'll remember in future dealings. Well, I guess that'll help you. It's weird to think of a god with a home address. You're not coming along? I should remind you there is an element of danger. A killer is on the loose, no? Someone who can kill an idol. Yeah. I, uh, I should track down Kaz and Brian. Honestly, just tell him you're okay. Then I guess I'll go check this place out on my own. So glad that's settled. I'll let you get to it. I've drinking to resume. Ta-ta. Oh, it's open. That's not a good sign. This is Calliope's apartment? 
I don't know what I was expecting, but not this. Um, hello? Oh, sure, Grace, good job. Just announce to the killer that you're here. I better have a look around. After Calliope left the audition, where did she go? Did she follow me? Did she come here? Damn, look at that. That's beautiful. How do you even get one of these? Did she paint that? Looks like it belongs in a museum. Andy Warhol, yeah, that makes sense. I wonder how many celebrities she knew. Right. These aren't... Do I inherit these as the new muse? Is that even okay to ask? I believe this is just an ironic photo of Elvis, and she wasn't, like, his muse, or... A giant harp. Of course there's a giant harp. So many instruments in here. Did she play all of them? I don't see anything useful down here. Maybe there's something upstairs? Oh man, keep it together, Grace. It's just your average, every day. <gasps> there were only three muses, you know, not nine. Whenever they found someone who made something truly masterful or created a new art form, they'd pass on their idol on, take a new name. You see, that's how the mortals became confused. They got it wrong. Like they got almost everything about us wrong. You're Apollo, right? God of prophecy? One of the chorus. Sometimes I am, yes. What does that mean? It means... <laughs> it means sometimes I just feel like an old man who's lost too many friends. If I may ask, how did you find this place? And what are you doing here? I'm looking for help. To save my life, remember? Yes, I should apologize for that. Our ways must seem strange to you. You don't need to apologize. You're the only one who really helped me. It... It wasn't right, what they were doing. It still isn't. I still need help. I can't help you, Grace. I wish I could. You deserve better. Can you... Tell me about Calliope. I barely knew her, but she seemed... She was a beautiful soul, if troubled. Troubled? Uh, she thought the idols had lost their way. She argued with us, with all of us, that we needed to change. We hadn't spoken in years. I hadn't seen her home before today. I am. Um, I'd rather not talk about it.
This room is a mess. Did you do this? Not this? It was like this when I got here. And you didn't think that was in the least bit strange? I didn't think much of it. I came here to be reminded of Calliope, not to search through her things. That end, it's, uh, it's cleaner than my place. So you didn't mess up the room, but someone must have. There could be a clue. Well, nothing that I've seen. All this mess, as you put it, is likely the result of her projects. Her projects? When Clive got an idea in her head, she would obsess over it. Sometimes for months, even years. I don't know what she was involved with lately, but this... Uh, for her, this is nothing. Why can't you help me exactly? Pan said there's no specific rule against it. You've already met Pan? How odd. It's not that I'm forbidden to help you, Grace. It's that you don't want my help. Of course I do! You have to know more than me about almost everything! My help will only make things worse. How is that possible? I've been sentenced to death. And without my help, you stand a chance of avoiding that fate. So let me get this straight. You'll speak up for me, but you won't lift a finger to help. You don't want me to do more. You keep saying that, but it doesn't make any sense. If you didn't want to help, that'd be one thing. But insisting I don't want you to? <laughs> Why not? I can see this is hard for you, I really can, but I... I don't understand. You don't know what you're asking. Do I have to beg? For whatever reason you helped me before, my life is still on the line. No, I, I haven't sung in centuries. According to Pan, I can't force anyone to do anything. Phantom paints from a missing friend Feeding thoughts, thoughts that never end What did I do? What didn't I do? Here she is, only in your head Long gone fights, but they're never dead What did I do? What didn't I do? Calliope, what was she to you? Years, thousands of years We walked side by side She tried, said there's other paths Don't walk the same Never the same. I have roads I like, smooth, paved in stone. She got tired of our divide. We weren't the same, never the same. To see beyond what's dead Reaching ahead Yeah, that was her A meteor A blazing star And she was no more What did I do? What didn't I do? Years, thousands of years Same, break from the same, never the 
certain what you expect me to do. Athena called you the god of prophecy, didn't she? Isn't that telling the future? <laughs> prophecy is the last thing you need, Grace. It'd be helpful if you could explain why, exactly. This is all new to me, remember? Yes, of course, that's true. It's so easy to forget that. To receive a prophecy is not simply to be told what might happen, it's to be told what will happen. To know a prophecy is to be bound to its outcome. Only in ignorance is one free to choose. What? That makes no sense. If you tell me I'm gonna fall into a hole... Then you will. No, but I'll just avoid holes. All holes, any hole. And the act of trying to avoid them is what will make you fall. Worse, prophecies are never crystal clear. Sometimes you won't understand the full meaning until it's too late. Okay, is there anything you can do that isn't prophecy related? Uh, not directly, but yes, possibly. Come with me. There's someone I'd like you to meet. This is where you live? Oh, yes. Sometimes. And, and excuse the mess, I... I don't get many visitors. Don't worry about it. I, I have three brothers. I've seen a mess or two. Well, you're being kind. I admit I hadn't realized how bad it was. You said I'm here to meet someone? Ah, yes. Um... Do you know what an oracle is? Someone who tells the future? Not quite. They serve as a channel of sorts for my powers. This allows them to offer insight, knowledge they have no earthly means to possess. There's always been one. Over the ages, no matter where I go, one manages to find me. Meaning there's an oracle here. There is. <sighs> what? I have brought someone to see you. How many times do I have to tell you? I'm not a magic fortune cookie. Is that what Paul told you? 
Oracle's my handle. And even if I was the Oracle, I'm certainly not his Oracle. It's a pleasure to meet you, Oracle. Huh. Well, she's got better manners than the last lady you brought here. But at least that one had a casserole. Do you have a casserole? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Look, I'm sure he told you all sorts of nonsense. I use computers. I'm a hacker. That's it! I ask very little of you, Oracle. Your help here would be appreciated. <sighs> Fine. Don't get your abs in a twist. Okay, so Paul brought you all this way just to see little old me. What's on your mind, sis? So you're an oracle who uses the internet, huh? Like I said, it's my handle, and yeah. It's a sweet setup, huh? Some of it's even legit. The parts I purchased for her, presumably. Bargain for fair and square. And I keep telling you to get me an ethernet cable. I don't know what that is. It's the 21st century, Paul. And your 21st century Oracle needs her some download speed, okay? You keep saying Paul. Do you mean Apollo? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Apollo, if that is his real name, says he's a god of prophecy, blah, 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 blah. But you don't believe him. <laughs> believe him? Uh, who'd believe that? <laughs> it's super weird, but he's a decent guy, so he can be Apollo if he wants, but I just can't call him that. Do you live here? I crash here, yeah. Better here than home. She showed up one day, as the oracles do. Naturally, she is welcome to stay as long as she likes. <laughs> See the way he talks? I thought maybe he was a creep at first, but nah, pause I ate. <laughs> the highest of praise. He'd be more all right if he did some laundry. Tell me, is Apollo always so... Incredibly emo? Like a sack stuffed with sad? <laughs> I am standing right here. Don't get me wrong. It grows on you after a while. Grace, surely this is not what you came for. Oh, I don't know. It's cute watching you get all flustered. <laughs> it's hardly productive, is it? See, there you go again. <laughs> Ugh, get a room. A different room. I'm looking for information about someone named Calliope. Can you help? Oh, the lady from that apartment I sent Paul to. Yeah, I've been checking that out. What did I tell you? I looked it up. You could do the same if you learned to use a computer. Here, hold up, I'll show you. There. The apartment was originally purchased two years ago by a holding company Core with a K, Enterprises. Oh. Oh, I see. That would be... Persephone. You weren't expecting that? I wasn't aware Persephone and Calliope were friendly. Certainly not friendly enough for Persephone to give Calliope an apartment. The good news is that Persephone is easy to find. I can take you to her if you like. I'm thinking she won't be happy to see me. Persephone is rarely happy to see anyone. Great! We're all done now. Thank you for your help, Oracle. Please, do try to get out from behind your screens at least once today. Perhaps go for a walk. Yeah, yeah, sure, will do. Leave a tip on your way out.
Welcome to the underworld. Wow. How have I never heard of this place? Persephone keeps it a secret, while still managing to draw a crowd every night. Don't ask me how. Here in the underworld, idols can be themselves, even if they don't look human. Persephone runs a nightclub called The Underworld. It's a little on the nose, isn't it? Maybe, but <laughs> I wouldn't say that to her. Still, it seems like a weird thing for a god to do. We all get through the years somehow, Grace. If we're to find Persephone in all this, we'll need to split up. Have you considered what you'll say to her? I'll figure something out. I can be persuasive when I want to be. I'm aware. I'm just not sure even you could sweet talk Persephone. <laughs> Is that a challenge? <laughs> it's the truth. If Persephone really was friends with Calliope, talking to you might be the last thing she wants. You need to be prepared to use your powers, as you did with me. Come find me in the crown if you need anything. Otherwise, be careful, Grace. You're here. I mean, you gotta be somewhere, but you're here. Hello, Hermes. <laughs> sorry about running off on you back at the thing. Didn't really have a choice, but ah, sorry anyway. You're not much like the other idols, are you? No. I, I haven't been an idol very long. Maybe like a year. I lost track. So I'm not the one to ask about the idol stuff. It's all cool, but... Mostly, I do whatever Athena asks. Athena says, one day I'll sit on the chorus. <laughs> That'll be sick. Can you imagine me in charge? Why not? Maybe you can shake some dust off the other idols. Yeah, I don't know. That's a lot of dust. <laughs> You're right about that. I don't think Athena would let me clean anything anyway. She won't even let me touch her spear. When Calliope died, you were right there, within moments. How did you know? I told you, I got word, so I came. But how did you get word? Look, when an idol dies, I have to be there, so I just know. It's a Hermes thing. That sounds grim. It's not so bad. Caron could be less creepy, though. Who's Caron? The boat guy. He keeps asking me for a mixtape. What even is that? You've only been an idol for a year? How did that happen? Mm, probably same way it did with you. Oh, the old Hermes died in your arms and then they accused you of his murder? No. Well, yes. I mean, no, not like that. But yeah, I was there when he died. We were friends and I was having trouble at home and he helped me out. I miss him. Can I ask how he died? Uh, he didn't want to be here anymore. You mean... I'd rather not talk about it. I'm him now. It's all good. This is probably a stupid question, but... Do you know who might have killed Calliope? Oh, why would I know anything about that? When you came to... to the apartment, it seemed like you knew her. Oh no, I only met her once. She didn't live with the rest of the idols or hang out with us very much. She seemed nice though. Angry, maybe. But I don't know who'd want to hurt her. You don't seem that sad about it. 
Not like Apollo. <laughs> He's sad about everything. As for me, I don't know. Part of her is in you now, right? That's how I see it. Do you know if Persephone is here? I need to talk to her. <laughs> oh, you're serious. Why would you want to talk to Persephone? Nobody ever wants that. One time, I laughed too loud near her, and she threatened to ban me from the club. I don't want to be banned. I like it here. Is Persephone really that bad? Why do the idols put up with her? We're like family, and Persephone is that really mean aunt that nobody wants to invite. Uh, hey, don't tell her I said that. She keeps a list. It's a thing. Okay, okay, forget I asked. Whew! Man, just the thought of talking to Persephone gives me goosebumps. Blech. I'll see you around? If you die, then for sure. But, uh, don't die. Oh, hey. You're the new muse, aren't you? Um, I guess I am, yeah. Aphrodite mentioned it. Didn't figure I'd see you here, though. Oh, excuse the manners. Name's Eros, god of sex. Hey, did you did you say that you, that you're the god of sex? Desire, really. Sensuality. Attraction. Why? Were you expecting a chubby little flying baby with a bow and arrow? Uh, I, I wasn't... I actually preferred Cupid, but Pan had to be the trickster. Spread all those stupid stories. I'm... sorry? <laughs> Why? It's not your fault. Just another grudge I get to carry around forever. You know Aphrodite, right? I only met her the once. <laughs> sure, she's my mother. You know how it is. How would I know? No here, remember? Oh, right, right. Yeah, sorry. I wasn't thinking. But you'll hear a lot of idols talk about each other like that. You know, mother, brother, sister, grandfather. None of us are actually related. We just played a family for so many centuries. It may as well be true. The god of sex at a club. Looking for someone? Hmm. Once I might have, sure. Now I'm just here to see it happen. See what happen? Look out there. See all these people. The hope, the anticipation, the connections. They bounce off each other. <laughs> to me, it's like lightning. There are worse ways to spend a night out. I used to make it happen, you know. Mortals once begged me to make it happen, to inspire true love. But now, now I only inspire sex. Not the same thing. It's just as well. People should find true love the hard way. They'll value it more. So Aphrodite is your mother, but not really. That's right. A long time ago, she took care of me when I needed taken care of. The mortals, they just assumed. These days, well, it's not like that anymore. We're not as invulnerable as we used to be. Least of all, Aphrodite. You seem a little distracted. Is everything okay? <laughs> of course it is. Sure. Not obvious, huh? Truth is, I don't come here that often. Though it's hard to get away. I just want... No, never mind. Even idols have their bad days, huh? Bad weeks, bad months, bad centuries. But <laughs> who am I talking to? You're the one with your life on the line. 
Here's the thing. I'm looking for Persephone, but I can't find her anywhere. Hmm. Well, I know where she is, but I question whether she'd be happy to see you. I like you, but Mother told me what happened at the chorus. I don't want to cause trouble with Persephone. I don't know Persephone well, but considering what I do know, I don't blame you. I know it's lousy, and I'm sorry. I hope I can make it up to you someday. I'll see you around. Count on it. I thought this would be easier, but it's as if Persephone left instructions to thwart me. Every staff member I approach screams and runs off. I hope your search has been more successful. You don't come here often, I'm guessing? Never. I'm sure Persephone only sent the membership as a formality. I doubt she thought I'd ever use it. Don't you ever have fun? No drinking or dancing in Apollo land? Once. When I had the muses to keep me company. I'm a muse now. I can keep you company. Nothing would make me happier. But you do have a predicament to solve first. It might help if I knew more about Persephone. It couldn't hurt. What would you like to know, exactly? I thought she was just mad at me, but everyone seems afraid of Persephone. Ah, uh, noticed that, did you? Persephone is angry with everyone, and has been for a very long time. She has her reasons. I can't say she doesn't, but she does not let go of a grudge. A thousand years could pass, and Persephone will remember what you did like it was yesterday. What's Persephone's story? Her name rings a bell, but I don't... No doubt you've heard the tale of how Hades, lord of the underworld, kidnapped a young sweet goddess and made her his wife. <laughs> that sweet young goddess was... Persephone. Mm -hmm. Her mother, Demeter, was so enraged she blanketed the world in ice, rendering it barren and infertile. Zeus was forced to act. He decreed that Persephone would be shared between Demeter and Hades, and thus the matter was resolved. Well, you asked. That's her story, as the mortals tell it. So tell me, how much of Persephone's legend is true? Well, let's see. Um, Hades did kidnap Persephone. That certainly did happen. The idols almost went to war over it until Zeus intervened and ordered Hades and Persephone to wed. That uh, quieted things. At least until Persephone killed Hades. Wait, so, so Hades just kidnapped her? And that was okay? <laughs> Does this stuff happen a lot with the idols? Not since the days of the Titans, which I barely remember. It was the first time one idol had killed another. I'd like to say we handled it well, that Zeus and the idols were mindful of what Persephone had been through, but that would be a lie. Persephone was punished for the murder, the underworld taken from her, and we all stood by and let it happen. She has never forgiven us. And honestly, I can't blame her. If I were her, I'd be mad at you all too. Then you understand why things are difficult between us. Wait, Persephone killed another idol. Oh, long time ago, yeah. What about all of Athena's rules? Wouldn't Persephone have been I don't know. Executed? The murder of Hades is probably why we now have that rule. Back then, we heard Persephone had usurped Hades' throne, but we couldn't believe it. It just wasn't done. Now, of course, 
I look back and think we should have seen it coming. Oh, the benefit of hindsight. Why didn't you see it coming? You're the god of prophecy. When I look, I learned long ago not to. So what happened to Persephone after... The murder? She survived, like the rest of us. She got older, and when we came to the New World, I think she would have left us if it was allowed. It isn't, so instead she did as she pleased. She started a cult, became a crime boss. Oh, uh, what? It was after her last transition, but honestly, <laughs> I have no insight into anything Persephone does these days. I'll get going. I still need to find Persephone. I'll keep trying as well. As I live and breathe, if it isn't our dear muse. Hi, Pam. Tell me, have you decided to leave your troubles behind and join us in the land of shadows and revelry? I should thank you for the address. It's what led me here. No need to thank me. You'll owe me, remember. How you managed to stir the sun god from his oh-so-tiresome gloom, I cannot imagine. Nicely done. Did you know Apollo would be at that apartment? However would I know something like that? See, you play innocent, but I just don't believe you. <laughs> Flatterer. I'm guessing it's a total coincidence that I'm running into you here. It must be. The alternative would be that I knew a great many things ahead of time. Well, did you? Do I look like an oracle? I am here to listen to thrilling music and meet delicious people. My tastes are simple. Uh-huh. Speaking of simple tastes, my glass is empty again. The service here is appalling. I assume you're a regular at this club? And why would you assume that, dear Grace? <laughs> the horns, the... you... Do you know Persephone well? There is no knowing Persephone well. She won't have it. Not anymore. Not anymore? Long ago, we were all very different. Over the span of ages, however, even mountains erode. The things you say, the things you don't say, you don't make yourself seem trustworthy, you know that? Trust is for the weak and the penniless. Still not helping. Why, Grace, are you assuming that I, Pan, am some sort of scoundrel? It's more that I'm stating it outright. The hurt, the insult, and after you chose me over your friend. Uh-huh. I don't know what to tell you, Grace. Even an idol needs to get by. You must know why I'm here, right? Let me guess. You seek our sweet-natured proprietress. Can you help me find her? Ah, uh, work, work. Work, helping people is all I do, all day long. This, however, you want me to throw myself at the mercy of a lioness. You ask a great deal, Grace. What if I asked you really nicely and batted my eyelashes like so? <laughs> oh, no. Not my one true weakness. I could also flatter you, tell you how shiny your horns are. All right, all right. <laughs> Never let it be said that flattery gets one nowhere. 
Let me know when you're ready and I'll take you to Persephone. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Do keep that in mind after you've spoken to her. No luck yet, I'm afraid. And why is the music here so loud? I found someone who will bring me to Persephone. Finally. I'll be right behind you. You're coming with me? But I thought... She seems even angrier with you than she is with me. I... I might be able to mediate. <laughs> we'll see, I guess. If you're angry with anyone, Persephone, be angry with me. It was I who... I will deal with you later. I was willing to leave you be, Grace. To wait until your guilt was certain. And yet here you are, in my domain. Uninvited. Why? Are you here to beg for mercy? Are you here to challenge me? Should I be afraid? This isn't a challenge, Persephone. I have questions. Questions for me? Good. Because I have questions for you. Do you really expect us to believe that Calliope chose you? What's the real story? Did you stumble across her as she lay dying and desperate? Are you an accident? Did you learn what she was? Did you torture her, hold her at the point of death until she agreed to hand over her Eidolon? Persephone, this isn't... You have every reason to try to prove your innocence, Grace. But I have no reason to help you. You knew Calliope. We all knew Calliope. She was staying at your apartment. You knew her. Better than I or anyone else suspected. Are you implying that I had something to do with her death? Prove you didn't. That's how idols work, isn't it? Fight for them! A lost little girl You shouldn't have come here And I sure ain't in the mood To make new friends Go home, little girl The shadow's drawing near Let's see how far she bends We all know how this ends Hope everyone's having a great night I guess I'm this evening's sacrifice But I'll see what I can do you deserve a good show Big hand for your usual MC She's planned a brutal takedown just for me Hopefully I'll last a couple rounds You deserve a good show I won't let you down My, my, we caught a butterfly Such a delicate thing What a find I hope she doesn't mind When we pull off her wings Maybe you don't know who I am Maybe you don't know who I am Well, I don't know anyone, I'm new You, what's your name? What do you do? 
That's the thing with the front row. You're part of the show. How keen a stand-up routine, knee deep in a grave. Works the crowd, wrapped in a shroud, a corpse in a cave. Maybe you don't know who I am. Maybe you don't know who I am. Idea what you're dealing with, child. Surprise, surprise, coins on your eyes. Give them to the fairy man. Get it in your little head. You're spitting at the queen of the dead. And then you slam the door Raises the question Who else you'd ignore My, my Stay in the dark and fight your endless war She just won't die Certain you can't be surprised anymore Come on, kid, scram You know, there's someone else that I speak for Still don't know who I Well, you won. So it appears. If what you told the chorus is true, why do you think Calliope came to you that night? I honestly don't know. I'm not even sure how she knew where I lived. She must have followed me. I see. All right, Grace. Come with me. Calliope came to me years ago. She'd grown tired of arguing with the idols, tired of being branded a troublemaker. She couldn't watch the idols wither away without a fight. I knew how she felt, so I gave her the apartment.
So you must know better than anyone what she's been up to. Not exactly. Calliope and I haven't spoken for at least two years. After I heard the news, I went to the apartment and turned it upside down. I had to know the truth. That was you? I didn't find anything. Nothing to say what she had been involved with, or, or gotten into, or who she might have been fighting with. So what now? Do you still think I'm guilty? You're clever. You let me win our showdown, and that's a solid move. Calliope may well have chosen you. If it wasn't Grace, that means someone else was behind Calliope's death. Someone who could keep their involvement hidden. One of us. Does it have to be an idol? You thought I killed Calliope. Couldn't it have been some other mortal? Despite how we might look, it's not a simple matter to kill an idol. It was difficult enough to believe you had done it. If another mortal killed her, they somehow escaped detection. We found nothing, no evidence of a battle. You looked? Of course we looked. What do you think was happening while you waited? If Calliope was attacked elsewhere, even magic revealed no trace of it. Wait, wait, wait. Did you say magic? You can battle me through a song in a world of your own creation, and yet magic is beyond belief? Well, sure. I just thought... We have our powers just as you have yours. I can grow a field of corn like nobody's business. Some would say our powers are also magic, but... True magic is a different and older power. Hecate's domain. And it was of no use here. We shouldn't rule it out. We haven't tried everything yet. Did Calliope have any enemies? The way you talk about her, she must have. What? What am I missing? Well, Calliope had a way of making people angry. She could be... argumentative. Yes, but enough to make enemies who wanted her dead? Not that you or I know of, apparently, but that doesn't mean they didn't exist. Couldn't we go to Athena with this? If you've changed your minds and you're both part of the chorus... Athena would be sympathetic, but... The die has been cast. She won't go back on the edict, not without clear evidence. Oh, now you want evidence? She acted on the information she had. If we want to sway her, we need something better. What about Pan? He showed up at my place out of nowhere, right after I left the chorus. He did what? I have to wonder what his angle is. He has one, that's for certain. Though I've never thought of him as a killer. It would be too... messy. Still, we should consider the idea. For him to show up so quickly is... odd. What about Athena? She seemed awfully insistent on declaring me guilty, don't you think? Athena? <laughs> no, Athena follows the rules. Well... Athena has one goal, and one goal only. To protect the idols. And that included Calliope. She'll eventually drive us all mad with her vigilance, but break her own rules? I don't see it. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. You know the idols. Don't you have any ideas? I told you I wouldn't be of much help, Grace. Did you now? Mm. That's unsurprising. When are you ever of help to anyone but yourself? Says the woman who forced Grace to challenge her rather than answer a simple question. Calliope died, Apollo. Calliope, who came with us all the way from the old world. You think I don't know that? Are you forgetting what the muses meant to me? Please, both of you. None of this will help Calliope. 
I know you both miss her. I know you cared about her, but she's not completely gone. A piece of her is in me. She came to me for help, and I don't want to die any more than she did. Calliope, I'm listening now. Tell us what end you would do. Did you strike that concern? finest moment. <laughs> Persephone will never let this go. You kind of went dark and stormy back there. It was impressive. I honestly thought I had left that behind me. Left what? Signs of life? The world won't wither if you raise your voice, Apollo. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it. I just wish old habits didn't return so easily around her. <laughs> Family thing, huh? That's why I've tried to avoid my fellow idols for so long. I don't like who I am when I'm with them. I know what you mean. I'll be 14 around my parents forever. Try living in their house for a thousand years. Ooh, no thanks. At least coming here was useful. You have a better idea of where to start looking, right? And where is that? I need to give it some thought. This won't be easy. If another idol is behind this, they know us well. They had a plan. So you don't know where to look next? I need time to sort it out. Just be patient, Grace. I have to ask, is Athena really not an option? She wouldn't see what you see? At all? I respect Athena. She has dragged us into the modern age, sometimes kicking and screaming. She's why we're alive. But if I said that her need to keep us safe didn't drive her to extremes, I'd be lying. You represent a risk, Grace. To her, that is more important than any notion of compassion or justice.
Well, that's harsh. Perhaps. To be responsible for the lives of so many for so long. It is no small burden. Forgive me if I can't help wishing she would lighten up just a little. You're not the first to wish that, but... I doubt she's apt to listen. I'm sorry. I thought you'd decide that getting me into the Underworld was enough. What? Bring you to Persephone and then shrug? Not my problem now? I mean, you could. I wouldn't blame you. It's not your problem. What you said during our song, it's still true. Sure, but I forced you to sing it. You forced me to speak my heart. I'm helping you because I believe I should. Is there anything I can do in the meantime? Some place I can look? Don't you want to relax? You haven't rested since this began. Relax? Who can relax? I've been sentenced to death, Apollo. Fair point. Even so, go home, Grace. The next time you see me, I'll have a better notion of what to do. <sighs> Fine. But I'm holding you to that. Hey, Freddy. Hey. Is... um... is everything okay? Well, uh, not really. I felt like crap after you left. I don't know why I acted like that. I just had this image of you being swept off into some new world without me. You're apologizing. After I dumped the whole, hey, I'm a god thing on you, I'm the one who should be sorry. No. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Wait until after we figure out how to save my sorry life. Okay, right you are. Tell me what's happened since I saw you last. Huh. Persephone runs a club called the Underworld. That's a little on the nose. That's what I said! And you ended up siding with Apollo? Lord of the Sun, God of Prophecy? Do you trust him? I'm not sure. I think so. It doesn't seem like he's lying, but he's hard to read. Famous last words. <laughs> Tell me about it. So, what are your options? You need to go back to Apollo's place, right? I could go back to the Underworld. Make sure Persephone isn't taking my decision personally. Oh, and, uh, there's this. Pan left a card, says, come by Olympus. <laughs> I doubt he means the mountain in Greece. Huh. I wonder what he wants. Probably to cash in his precious favor. Still not a fan? You know how some people just set your teeth on edge? That's Pan. I can't help it. But it doesn't matter. I said I'd help, and that's what I'll do. You can count on me, Grace. Thanks, Freddy. The muse! Oh, the embodiment of inspiration! Can you believe it? <laughs> yeah, kind of. <laughs> Oh, Grace, you're back. That's good. I was just about to call you. Uh, he means he wants me to call you because Paul here still hasn't figured out how to use a phone. That... that's not true. I know how. I just don't like them. They're confusing. Anyhow, I've been contemplating our list of suspects, and I think Pan is someone we need to consider. Wait, wait, wait. You don't like phones? I, uh, I just don't like talking to people I can't see. 
No, it's the ringtones. They scare the crap out of him, I kid you not. I'm not frightened. Only a child would be frightened. They're just... very loud. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can we return to the subject of Pan, please? Why Pan? I thought you'd rejected him as a suspect. Persephone did. But I've had time to think it over. Pan is a schemer. A traitor in favors. He always has been. His sudden appearance in all this cannot be coincidental. You think he could have killed Calliope after all? Perhaps. Or he knows who did and is trying to turn it to his benefit. He always knows more than he pretends. You should know. Pan asked me to meet him at Olympus. I'm not sure why. Wait, he wants to see you again? I don't like this. Neither do I. He decided I owe him a favor after he came to my apartment. That sounds about right for him. Aphrodite is holding a party of sorts, one you should attend. She is closest to Pan. Indeed, she knows almost all the idols. If anyone is up to something, she's bound to know. What do you mean by a party of sorts? I mean, I'm always down for a party, but... Um, it's more of a remembrance than a party, really. It's difficult to describe. That's awfully vague, Apollo. It'll be easier to see for yourself. It's nothing you can't handle. You know Aphrodite better than I do. Can't you talk to her? <laughs> well, talking to Aphrodite isn't something anyone does with much success these days. Well, if that's the case, what makes you think I'll get anywhere? There's a standing invitation for the muse to attend this party. Calliope never wins, so Aphrodite will be thrilled to see you. Trust me. If I thought you couldn't get her to talk, I wouldn't suggest it. I still have that invitation from Pan. Maybe it'd be easier if I just went to see him. You could. But would you believe anything he had to say? I might be able to coax some truth out of him. I can be persuasive. Well, whatever you do, be careful. I still think Aphrodite is our best bet. Okay, I'll go. Eventually. Perfect. I will see you there. Uh, Paul? You should see this. The names you wanted me to look up are getting weird results. I don't doubt it. I was hoping you could- Get over here! No worries, Paul. <laughs> I'll see you later. As I recall, Grace, when I said stay or leave, you chose to leave. If it wasn't clear, I don't give second chances. Or did you have some other reason for darkening my doorstep? Couldn't be here for the cool music and a drink? I definitely need one. Am I supposed to believe you're here to blow off steam? Why not? Don't you ever? <laughs> Ooh, here I thought I could drink. Lady, you have my respect and admiration. <laughs> You'll have an idol's fortitude in time. Now, however, I need to call our little evening to an end. I don't suppose our bonding time changed your mind even a teensy little bit? And here is the ulterior motive at last. Oh, can it be both? I like both. Let me be frank. I need my allies to be all in. You're not, and you never will be. But one last word of advice before you go. If you want to survive, don't look to anyone else for help. Not Apollo, not Pan, not even me. You walked away from my offer. And I respect that. Make your choices and live with them.
Fancy party? Check. Bunch of strangers? Check. Grace totally not dressed for the occasion? Check. Now, if only I knew what I was supposed to be doing here. Grace, you made it. I'm so glad. I was beginning to wonder. You didn't say this was a fancy party. I feel a little underdressed. Grace, look at me. I didn't even button up my shirt. It's fine. <laughs> Why is everyone so quiet? You'd think someone died. <laughs> I... I should have told you about this earlier. I've been putting it off. <laughs> you're cute when you're all angsty. You get this little crinkle in your forehead. <laughs> you might not think I'm so cute after I explain. You don't have any of Calliope's memories, right? No deja vu recollections that aren't your own? No. Should I have? Not right away. For a while, you won't remember anything. We call it the veil. In time, the veil will start to lift, slowly at first, but eventually you'll remember almost everything Calliope did. That doesn't seem so terrible. Am I missing something? Well, remember how old we all are. There are so many memories. So the veil lifts gradually to protect you. Eventually it's like a flood. It becomes difficult to separate what's you and what's them. And all who came before them. You're saying I won't be me. I won't be Grace. Will I start calling myself Calliope? Maybe. Eventually, most of us do, but most of us were chosen and prepared. <laughs> and I didn't choose this. I understand. Take some time to let it sink in. If you like, we can talk about it later. What? What does this have to do with the party? Aphrodite hasn't been the same since we came to the New World. She has horrific memories of what she endured during the war. Passing on her Eidolon is a way to forget, for a while. That's what this party is for. She doesn't have any other options? Therapy? Pills? Social media? <laughs> if you think she hasn't tried all those things, perhaps you could ask her about them. It just seems... extreme, doesn't it? Yes. Yes, it is. It is, however, an extreme situation. For idols, our memories can become a prison. This is how Aphrodite chooses to escape. This isn't the first time Aphrodite's done this. She's held this kind of gathering before, right? This is her fourth, I think. Perhaps fifth. So every time the veil, whatever you call it, when it starts to lift... Aphrodite's memories return, and eventually it is too much. We gather to pay our respects, and to honor the past. While well, she still remembers it. Okay, so... What did Aphrodite want Calliope to do? What did she want me to do? Well, knowing Aphrodite, she'll want you to make a production of it all. She's not here just yet. Until she arrives, I suggest... Mingling. Mingling? Yeah, mingling. Talk to Eros. Or we can talk more if you like. Just try to relax, Grace. Sure, yeah. Relax. That's what this party is for, right? <laughs> Grace! Hey, Eros. Nice to... <sighs> oh. Okay. Aphrodite will be so happy you're here. It means so much. You have no idea. Are you... okay? You seem a bit... Now, every time she does this, I don't know how to handle it. 
I almost want to run upstairs and demand she stop. Remind her that this never works. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't unload on you. It's, it's, it's been a bad week. Hey, hey, I understand. This can't be easy. She's the one who is suffering. I shouldn't be complaining. I just hate this. I, I'm there every day, going through it all with her. The, the nightmares, the panic attacks, the, the weeks when she just won't get out of bed. I'm, I'm there when she forgets the war's over and I hold her until the screaming stops. Me. I do that. That sounds awful. And now I'm arranging her gathering again so she can die again. And I'll watch it all again. Is it okay if I ask what happened? I don't mean to pry, but I'm new. I, I really don't know. No, it's okay. I wouldn't usually talk about it, but I know you don't mean any harm. What happened is that Brother Ares happened. He missed out on the first world-spanning war, you see, so he was damned if he'd miss out on the next one. He found some jack-booted mortals so full of themselves and their supremacy, and he told them about the idols. Then they came for us took us completely by surprise. Some they killed, but Aphrodite, her they captured. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Aphrodite was captured, but she's here now. So she must have escaped. She didn't. Do you know the name Hephaestus? No. Should I? God of Smiths. He could make anything, any tool or weapon. He was Aphrodite's husband, and he adored her. When he found out the mortals were torturing her, he went mad. He was determined to save her. Wait, they tortured her? Nothing extreme, I'm told. They were too frightened, but... They were also determined to wring every last secret out of her. So, who knows how long that fear would have lasted. Thus, Hephaestus made a deal. With the, um, jackbooted guys? No. With their enemies. That's what saved her. Then this deal is how Aphrodite survived. It's how we all survived. It's what brought us to the new world. Hephaestus saved us all. We never saw him again. That was the deal. He would leave, make their precious weapons, and never look back. Aphrodite never even got to say goodbye. It's funny, because Aphrodite didn't even like Hephaestus when they were married. She seemed to resent every minute they were together. But now... Now he's all she can think about. What is my part in all of this? I'll help if I can. Aphrodite loves drama. She always has. She wants us here to... Well, to remember. To celebrate our history. She'll ask you to use your power as part of the celebration. Could you use it to inspire her? I can't force anyone to do anything they don't want to, Eros. That's not what I'm asking. I believe that, deep down, she doesn't want to do this any longer. She must see it isn't working. She just needs the strength to... to try. Or I hope that's all she needs. I'll try, if you think it'll do some good. I don't know if it will. I just find it hard to believe it could get any worse. <laughs> Famous last words. <laughs> Tell me about it. Do whatever you think is right, Grace. 
and... Thank you. I know all these people, Grace. For as long as I can remember, I've known them. Yet sometimes I feel like I don't know any of them at all. Or they me. You don't enjoy these family gatherings, do you? Are they family gatherings? Like the sort mortals have? You call each other sister and brother and mother. Well, yes, but... And you've been together, like, a hundred times longer than I lived with my family. All you're missing is a drunk uncle everyone has to apologize for. Um, that would be Pan. But yes, I feel very much out of place. You look like you're in physical pain just being here. Oh, enjoying my discomfort, are you? Of course, it humanizes you. Makes up for all the abs on display. <laughs> I'm so glad you approve. I spoke to Eros. He's pretty broken up over all this. Oh, poor Eros. Each new successor, his hopes rise up once more. And then he watches the new Aphrodite crumble. Piece by piece. Only to start all over again. It's so different from the olden days. Once he was the eternal disaster, and Aphrodite kept constant vigil over him. Maybe he feels like he owes her. I think he's followed her into a dark void and somewhere deep down believes he deserves no better. I should get back out there. My family, having you all here, gathered once again to see me off, it moves me more than I can say. My loves, my darlings, my dearest friends, and you. Oh, my dear sweet thing, I dare not hope that you, with all your troubles, might sing me to my sleep. Yet here you are. Yet here she is! Huh. It's lovely to meet you, Aphrodite. Properly, this time. Ah, yes. Poor Calliope. Such a loss to us all. I shall miss her dearly. To have come so far, only... No, it doesn't bear thinking about. <laughs> it's too much. Is this Grace, my lady? The new muse? Oh! What manners I have! Grace, Grace, meet the lovely mortal woman who shall tonight become the new me. Hi, my name's Venus, and yes, it really is Venus. Nice to meet you, Grace. Yeah, hi, and nice to meet you. We'll both be new at this, huh? Maybe we could uh, get together and compare notes if you, uh... Survive my trial? Yeah... Lady Aphrodite told me. I shouldn't have brought that up. I'm sorry. There will be so much time for you lovelies to speak later. Now, we must prepare for my departure. I just want to say... I'm really sorry that this happened to you. That you need to do this. babe in our dreary world, and yet already possessed of such earnest purpose. Hmm. Weren't you opposed to this, Grace? Apollo! Oh, you've come after all! You look remarkably well, cousin. I've had a great deal of time to prepare. I assure you that would not be the case. <laughs> As for you, Grace, have you gathered the true purpose of tonight's gathering?
I couldn't say. An honest answer, I suppose. Some say it is about pain, for I have known pain. Some say it is about love, for above all things, I have known love. But truly, tonight is about memory. Memory I want to lose. But first, I shall honor it. Go, enjoy the gathering, Grace. Tell me when you're ready to begin. <laughs> I want to apologize again, Grace. I really messed up. It looks like I'll be doing that a lot. Lady Aphrodite said I'm ready, but I don't know. Having second thoughts? If so, now's probably the time to mention it. I would never do that to Lady Aphrodite. I'm just nervous. That's understandable. If... If I can ask... What does it feel like after it happens? Do you feel different? I'm not sure. It happened so fast, I didn't know what to think. Calliope died and then all this happened. You didn't remember anything about her, who she was? She was just... gone? Yeah. Isn't that the point of all this? I just wanted to be sure. Sometimes it doesn't seem like it could be real. How do you know Aphrodite exactly? <laughs> so I was working at this homeless shelter, right? A couple of years ago? And she came in with one of the older residents. And she was there in this, like, amazing dress. And she's sitting with this guy and really listening to him. Like they were old friends or something. I just thought, what is someone like her doing in a place like this? So I just went over and introduced myself. That's it? Just like that? <laughs> yeah. She came back to the shelter a few times, but by then I guess she'd taken an interest in me instead. Are you really okay with all this? You know what's gonna happen, right? I saw a lot of people in crisis at the shelter. I knew something was wrong with Lady Aphrodite. She's in so much pain, Grace. She won't let you see how much. Errol's called me one night desperate. She wouldn't stop screaming. She didn't know where she was. She... She's a good person, Grace. A good soul. She deserves mercy. But don't you feel this is wrong? I mean, you're ending your life. It's like some kind of murder-suicide pact. I don't think of it like that. Lady Aphrodite is not committing suicide, and I'm not being murdered. Aren't you? Your life is ending. It's being taken over, swallowed up by Aphrodite's grief. I'm becoming part of something bigger. Something amazing. Or maybe you're right. It'll be terrible. And I'll end up in so much pain I'll regret it. So why go through with it? Because Lady Aphrodite needs me. Maybe, just maybe, if I'm added into the mix of all the people she's been, maybe things will be different. back again. I don't think I'll have a chance to talk to Aphrodite. Not before, you know. Uh, I was hoping she might have spared a moment. What should I do? You have two choices, Grace. Either you do as she asks and sing her to her rest. At which point Venus won't have Aphrodite's memories yet. Or you somehow convince her to remain with us and... Hope she's grateful. And doesn't regret it. Or get 
angry at me for ruining her party. Do what you feel is right. It's a risk either way. Have you spoken with Venus? She seems really... Nice, earnest, a genuinely good person. Yeah, I suppose. It's not an accident. Ever since the war, Aphrodite has sought out the kindest, the most innocent souls to be her successors. She chooses them because she believes that over time, it might make her a better person. A more worthy person. Wouldn't it be better if she chose people who were, I don't know, more resilient? I suppose that depends on your definition of strength, Grace. I should get back out there. I have tried so hard, fought for so long, but in the end, I must bid you all farewell once again. But before I go, I would like us all to remember the sacrifices that brought us here to this strange new world. This time, it is with the help of our lovely muse that we shall be guided. We let them rise. We let it happen. We waited far too long. We thought we shouldn't intervene. We were wrong. We were wrong. Since the beginning we were hidden. We held court from up above. Twas the golden age of reason, and I the queen of love. But a plague of hate was spreading, and there were vultures standing by. Before we fell to our knees begging, we fell from the sky. We let them rise, we let it happen. We waited far too long. We thought we shouldn't intervene. We were wrong. We were wrong. We sought shelter from the shadows, but were soon ripped from the dark. Those mortal souls that ended us were jealous from the start. They hunted me for power to fuel their psychopathic cause. And once they fell before me and worshipped all I was, they chased me down and threw me in a cage, held me prisoner for so long. I thought I'd win their hearts again. I was wrong. poisonous reward My virtues only scorned me when I was once adored Loved by every mortal then ripped from paradise No one suffered greater till he made his sacrifice I can't believe what I'm 
Mother, is it true? You've chosen to... Live? I have chosen to live. I'm so sorry, Venus. I made you so many promises, dearest. And I won't be able to keep them. My lady... All I ever wanted was for you to be happy. If this is your wish, I'll be with you at every step. I as well. Always. I hope none of us regret this choice in the days to come. But thank you.
This is the only way you'll get through it. Together, as a family. If there's any chance, Mother, any at all, this is it. I know, my loves. I hope you're right. Now then, Grace. Apollo tells me you needed my help. No doubt regarding Calliope's death. Have you any suspicions as to who might be responsible? I was, uh, thinking maybe Pan. Pan? Kill Calliope? Tish Tosh, I don't believe it. He showed up at my apartment right after I left Athena's office. He's very suspicious. You favor him too much, Mother. I happen to feel there are entities among us far more sinister. You're thinking of Medusa, aren't you? I haven't met anyone by that name. Is that an idol? Not an idol, per se. But she is immortal. She came over with us from the old world. She works for Athena as a watcher. She's everywhere, lurking in the shadows. If you look anywhere, Grace, start with her. Come now, Mother. It's time you rested. It's been a long night. Hmm. If I don't, I suppose you'll both gang up on me again. Hmm. Very well. So, did they have anything helpful? Maybe. What do you know about Medusa? I know she's dangerous, but she does Athena's bidding. How sure are you of that? I'm not sure of anything any longer. You aren't thinking of seeking her out, I hope. I have to. How else will I find out what she knows? You need to be careful, Grace. Medusa is not to be toyed with. Athena employs her as a spy master, A hound to do her bidding. A vicious hound at that. Athena's not likely to tell either of us where to find Medusa. I can't say for certain who would know. Are you all right, Grace? You seem troubled. What Aphrodite went through, it, it's a lot. Yeah, that's the funny thing about the life of an immortal. It never ends. Wow. Way to really sell it, Apollo. <laughs> you really are amazing, you know that? Every hurdle, every piece of unpleasant news, you just keep on going. I don't know how you do it. Uh-huh. You going somewhere with us, Apollo? I just wish I could see the world through your eyes. Next to you, I feel very... old. Is it really that bad? Being a literal god, young and hunky forever? No, <laughs> it's not that. There are good things, yes, but they come with the not-so-good things as well. Such as? Such as having the gift of prophecy, and never being able to act on what you see. I tried, and it only made things worse. So instead, I tried to not want to try, and that's... still not better. How about you come with me sometime? Let me show you the world I see. A tempting offer. Sounds kind of corny, huh? <laughs> it really doesn't. I would love that. Can we go now? Hey, I'm game if you are. Take my hand for a minute. Let your hair down for a second. There's so much to like if you 
open your eyes If you try to search for the light You might be surprised No, it's not hard to find The courage you need to be joyful Is something you build over time Than I feel I deserve. It could grow on me, this world that you see. Yet I've been alive for too long. A thousand years of learning about what could go wrong. I'm tired of being wrong. I'd say hello, Grace, but I'm afraid that look on your face might be catching. I just... What is this place? It's a garden, darling. Surely even mortals have them. This building. All those people I pass getting up here. Are they all idols? Well, at least some of them. Welcome to Olympus, dear Grace. Our home hidden away in plain sight. Marvelous, isn't it? How many idols are there? I've met, what, less than 12? Oh, I don't know, 20, 30. Our numbers have dwindled so much I've stopped keeping track. I didn't know there were that many gods. We're not all equally legendary, it's true. Some idols were barely worshipped, others not at all. Indeed, not all of us are idols. Some are merely immortal. Hangers on, if you will. You'll meet them all. Given time. You asked me to meet you here? I did. As I recall, you owe me a favor. A favor that I now wish to collect, if you'd be so kind. Oh, sure. I'm totally in a position to help others right now. Lay it on me. Here's the thing. A friend has begged for my help, and you're far better suited than I to offer what he requires. I'll give you a key to reach the reliquary where he resides. You help him, and then we're even. If that's not enough incentive, the reliquary is also where you'll find the lovely Hecate. A sorceress of her power could aid your quest. What do you say? This person I'm to help, what does he want? And why can't you do it? Well, Grace, there are some things you're better equipped to handle than I. This, as I understand it, is a delicate matter of the heart. One that requires a muse's hand. A matter of the heart? 
What, did you think I was sending you to rough someone up? Set something aflame? Don't be absurd. The man has an issue with his love life. Even if you can't help him, I'll treat the effort as worth the favor. This Hecate, do you think she could help me? If she's of a mind. She is the goddess of dark magic, the creator of all our marvelous glamours. If anyone can help you, it is she. And if she's not of a mind? Then she won't help you. Grace, that part is up to you. I can't be expected to do everything, can I? I'll think about it. But no promises. Marvelous. The gentleman you seek is named Asterian. Lovely fellow, quite harmless. Now, if there's nothing else you need. That depends. What can you tell me about Medusa? That is a rather peculiar subject change. Her name came up at Aphrodite's party. I'd like to look into it. You'll find Medusa at a dingy little club appropriately named the Viper's Nest. Give her my regards. Do tell me you'll be careful if you go there, Grace. Medusa is a hideous creature and should be treated as such. Okay, I give up. How does one treat a hideous creature? With a great deal of respect if you know what's good for you. I'll send a package to your domicile that contains directions and the key you'll need to reach the reliquary. I said no promises. Well, if you decide to go, Grace, you'll still need all those things. Say hello to darling Hecate on my behalf, will you? In that shipping container, I was expecting, I don't know, rats. Uh, yeah. Instead, we have. <sighs> Where the hell are we? It's hard to say. Weren't we going to some kind of library? That's how Pan described it. He said it was a, um, what's the word? A reliquary? That is where relics are kept, like magic items, like when we played D&D. &D. This is nothing like D&D. &D. Well, I don't know about you, Grace, but if a dragon came flying out of that mist, I would not be the least bit surprised. <laughs> you are such a nerd. <laughs> Speaking of, how much do you actually know about Hecate and this idol you're supposed to help? Do you know anything about this Hecate? It's not a name that rings bells. Mm, let's see. Well, she was the goddess of witchcraft, the really dark kind. Oh. But she's never really portrayed as evil. She was more of an outsider, lived alone, off in our little corner of the underworld. <gasps> Do you think that's where we could be? Oh, that is so cool. Oh, I bet knowledge is important to her. It could be an angle if you talk to her. That sounds good, yeah. Hey, Hecate! I love your library! So much knowledge! Wow! I bet you'll really appreciate a quality smartass. I brought you for a reason, right? We make a fine team, you and I. <sighs> we should go inside instead of standing out here in the fog. Eh, it's more of a mist, really. A mist potentially full of monsters. In we go, then. Are you really planning on doing that favor for Pan? Meddle in love lives? Sweet talk, the goddess of witchcraft? Freddy, who are you dealing with? The master meddler and sweet talker. Damn straight. I look forward to seeing you in operation. There's no way at all this could go poorly.
I guess the Titan thing is literal, huh? Mortals within the reliquary! Who permits this intrusion, this sacrilege? This knowledge is not meant for the likes of you! I shall grind you into the dust from whence you came! I am really sorry if we startled you. My name is Grace. We've never met before, but, uh, I'm the new muse. And I'm Freddy. <laughs> Big fan. If I broke a rule, I apologize. Pan didn't mention anything about that, I'm, I'm afraid. You... are... Grace? Then Calliope is dead. Is that now? I thought that was not for another eleven months yet. Wait, what? You knew Calliope was going to die? No, I am not informed of this for another eleven months and three days. Or I could just tell you now? That cannot be. It is written. Yes, it's right here. Calliope joins Grace's band. They become friends. Months later, there is an automobile accident and... An accident? Well, that's not what happened. Are you saying the books are wrong? They're wrong about this. Calliope was murdered just a few days ago. That is impossible. I don't know what to tell you. You will explain. We will both sit, and you will explain. There will be tea. Curious. It is clear something unanticipated has occurred. Something outside the realm of fate. Uh, is that even possible? It is. But I must follow the threads back to their source to find the origin of the deviation. It may take years of research. Years?! I don't have years. That is unfortunate. If there is nothing else, I must ask you both to leave so I may begin at once. Is there no way to speed that up? Whoever's behind it might be the murderer. Such threads are not so easily untangled. I must consult the Moirai, if indeed they are not the ones responsible. The, the Moi what? You might know them as the Fates. They, or any beings of a sufficiently cosmic nature, have the power to undo the order of things. That does not sound good. Certainly not. They are also not beings I can summon at a whim to solve your mystery. I am sorry. Actually, I came here to speak to Asterion. If, uh, he is here. A visitor for Asterion? How strange. Oh! Uh, are we doing guests? Is that a thing? I, I, I didn't know. You're Asterion? But you're... The Minotaur? <laughs> I could have told you that. My old friend, this is Grace. She is our muse from the line of Calliope, and it is she who asked for you. Hi there. Can we talk? Somewhere in private? Talk? What, you and me? Uh, why? What about? You know, about a delicate matter that maybe you needed help with. <laughs> oh, nope. Uh, no, no, uh, uh, nah, uh, no idea what you're talking about. No delegates here. There you have it, Grace. I believe now is the time when you leave. But <laughs> there must be some mistake. There is no mistake. Not this time. Are you sure about that? Because I'm not going. It is written. Did you hear that? Pan sends me all this way and Asterion won't even talk to us? Maybe there's another Asterion? Yeah, more likely Pan's got me chasing my tail. This was pointless. Well, I don't think we're getting back inside. Do you have another plan? I don't know if my powers will even work on Hecate. 
but it's worth a shot. Ooh, a musical number. Do you think this one could be... Uh, do you hear what I'm hearing? <laughs> oh, 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 you still here? That's <laughs> run the entire... Oh, that's a long way, isn't it? <sighs> I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to send you away, all right? I just couldn't tell you, not in front of Kate. Kate? You don't mean... Oh, that is so cute. I heard what you said about Calliope. I can help you. I really, really can. It, it has to be you. I am so in love with my dear sweet Kate. I, I, I just don't know how to tell her. Please help me tell her. Okay, so you're in love with Hecate. <sighs> what is it you think I can do? A muse knows about poetry and, and the heart and, and how to make words beautiful. All I want is to ask her, but I need good words. You know, please, please say you'll help me. I do this and you'll help me in return, right? Athena made Kate swear. She's not allowed to say anything about what happens at the tower. But she never made me swear. Maybe she never thought anyone would ask. But I'll tell you. Even if Kate doesn't like it, I'll tell you. If I do this first. If you help me, any trouble will be worth it. Okay. I have an idea. Y you do? <clears throat> well, y you do? You, my bullish friend, are gonna sing your little heart out. <laughs> Grace always has the best ideas. I'll set up a vibe and you go for it. I'm not great at words, I'm, a, I'm more of a dancer. Just speak from the heart, be honest. You can do it. You cast a spell on me Not literally, obviously But I feel in summary You and me are meant to be Cause you put a hex on me You didn't do it to me directly I'm, I'm not blaming you specifically just the metaphorically shit. Can someone help me? It's okay. Okay, what are some of the things you love about her? Hecate, with you there's so much to love. Oh, I'm not saying you're fat. You did not just say that. Shit. She doesn't know about herself. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, T, to me, you know you in rapture. Ooh, good word. Is your pallid skin, your lips are so thin, your love of books. Asterion, I have but one thought. Why is it that you seem so distraught? Are you saying you're? You couldn't possibly. Really? Oh, you're doing great. Give it another go. You've cast a spell on me. It's a feeling that's killing me. But let's say categorically. Oh, Katie, it's just you and me. That's what I've always called you It sounds juvenile But that name makes me smile I've always wanted to tell you Anyways As friends I'm only a fraction Of what I can be I mean I'll still make you tea 
But don't you want more than tea? Is this what you truly wish to do? This love could easily fall through Imagine if we ceased to be It's a possibility, don't you see? Oh god, he's looking pretty bad Hecate, it could be this spell on me has blinded my eyes from what you can see If there's even the smallest possibility Of losing you somehow I'll take it back now I'm finished, could someone please rescue me? Stand back, there's nothing to see Everyone move along It's a poor crash of a song But you're wrong, make no apology See, she hasn't disappeared She is standing right here I know when I stand next to you I don't feel like such a freak I know you feel that way too You're not like other gods My love, what are the odds? That we're here Us outsiders should cheer That we found each other Why didn't you open with that? Oh, was that good? I have always counted on you To speak to me honestly You're at my beck and call I've never thanked you at all And yet you still love me I let travelers know which way to go, but it bothers me My own path I forego Always seemed apropos Yet where has this led me? Maybe one step across the line Will weave its own spell in given time The thought with which I must contend Is can I love my Not yet. It is written. You cast a spell on me To think I shall have my own story You cast a spell on me And we shall write it together You cast a spell on me A tale of romance and glory Do we have enough leather? You cast a spell on me Well, that was... diverting. You felt this way the entire time, Asterion, and you said nothing? I didn't think I was worthy. I mean, look at me. I'm only, you know, half a man. You have been a devoted friend over the long and lonely years, Asterion. I only wish I had realized sooner we could have been more. As for you, Grace, I thank you for arranging this diversion, however it came to pass. I, I don't get it. Didn't you know this would happen? Wasn't it written? Of course it was. It was also written that I would be unaware of Asterion's feelings until he spoke them to me. But you knew that. I follow the rules. It is written. You know, there is a way to repay me. I still need to find out who killed Calliope. I fear I am oath-sworn to discuss no matters that occur within these halls. But all I need is- If there are revelations from my investigation into the abnormality, you shall be informed. Come, Asterion, I wish to speak of this further, and find an appropriate outfit. Hey, wait for me outside, yeah?
How long are we supposed to wait? It's been over an hour. I'm sure it's fine, Grace. I doubt the Minotaur would break his promise. <laughs> so, when I tell you... Whew! <sighs> you still here? I'm sorry. Kate had a lot to say. <sighs> oh, I'll bet she did. Yeah, well, Kate wants us to uh, talk about our feelings more. And there, of course, was uh, tea. Right, so uh, I suppose you want to know how Calliope broke into the reliquary that night. She did what? No, we didn't know anything about that. Do you mean the night she died? Oh, well, I, I, I thought you already knew. Uh, yeah, the, the night Calliope died, she, she broke in somehow. Thing is, we know she didn't take anything or even touch anything. I just remember the alarms and I chased after her. You chased Calliope, but did you ever catch up with her? Uh, no. If I'd have caught her, I'd have brought her back and Kate would have gotten answers out of her. All I know is, is that she was hurt, bleeding bad, but I don't know why. I wanted to help her, but she got away in the fog. Then I ran into Medusa. Wait, what? Medusa? Here? Yeah. Well, she's not normally here. I think maybe she was chasing after Calliope too. Did you say the reliquary has alarms? Like burglar alarms, cameras? Oh, no, 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 nothing like that. It just has a lot of protections. You know, magic. I don't know magic, actually. Oh, uh, well, it's just meant to keep the dangerous stuff from being touched. It was set off, so something happened in the reliquary. We just, uh, don't know what, exactly. What was Medusa doing here? She was chasing after Calliope too, I think, but she wouldn't say why. I asked. She never got into the reliquary, though. She was just out here in the fog. Couldn't Medusa have broken in like Calliope did? Yeah, but I chased Calliope from the reliquary. If Medusa had been there, I would have seen her. How do you know Calliope didn't touch or take anything? Kate knows everything in the reliquary, right down to the last book. She's been looking, but she can't figure if anything was touched. It makes her so mad not to know. And it made Athena pretty mad too. Athena got involved? Yeah, when Kate finally told her, Athena wants Kate to keep investigating, but it doesn't look good. Those alarms don't go off if someone breaks into the reliquary? They don't... <laughs> detect intruders? Well, uh, normally nobody does that. Calliope did. Someone else could've. Yeah, but the alarms are just to protect all the books and relics. That's it. Whatever Calliope did here, it was enough to set off the alarms. That's all I know. How could Calliope have been wounded? It couldn't have been Medusa, like I said. She never got close. But Calliope was wounded inside the reliquary? That's where the blood was. We don't have anything that would attack anyone, though. So someone else. But they did it inside the reliquary. If so, they vanished after. What relics are there? Maybe Calliope was looking for one, but couldn't find it before... Yeah, that I'm not supposed to say. Do you have the Golden Fleece, the Shield of Zeus, the Sword of Damocles? Is it suspended? Uh, you know a lot about that stuff for a mortal. So it's all real? I can neither confirm nor deny any of that. All I know is that nothing got used and nothing got taken. Athena knows what happened here the night Calliope died? Yeah, Kate told her a day or so later, I think. We didn't know Calliope died that night, though. What? Athena didn't mention it? Nope. Not that that's weird. She's, uh, well, she's not the chatty type, you know? She came in all quiet and cool, wanted to know who was here that night and what Calliope might have wanted. She swore Kate to silence. Not me, though. I guess she's not as smart as Kate. 
This means Calliope came here the night she died. This is where she was attacked. But we don't know by whom. Well, this is the second time Medusa's name has come up. That can't be a coincidence. Well, she's super scary, but, uh, you know she works for Athena, right? I thought maybe that's why she was here, but Athena said she didn't know about it. <sighs> that does seem suspicious. If that's all you need, then I have to go. Kate will be so mad if she finds me gone. <sighs> Good luck, Muse. You okay there, friendo? I'm just thinking about Calliope. What happened to her here? Whatever she was trying to do, she probably didn't succeed. She ran from here, dying, maybe straight to our apartment. Because you were her last hope. Yeah. What if she hadn't made it? She must have known... One thing at a time, Grace. You'll figure it out. I know you will. I guess so. Next thing is to go back to Pan. Tell him his favor is done. <sighs> what an adventure. Sorry? You're just lucky, Grace. Luckier than you think. You go do what you have to, and I'll meet you back at the apartment, okay? Pan! I hope you're here, because I don't know where else to look for you. Of course I'm here, Grace. Where else would I be but amongst the trees and the wild things? I really must thank you, by the by. Asterion is simply over the moon, and he's already repaid me with this select tome from the reliquary. You're welcome. You might have warned me what his love life issue was. <laughs> what was it? Asterion wouldn't say. You really didn't know? It was exhausting trying to get the poor fellow to admit as much as he did. At any rate, you seem to have worked it out. I trust you got what you needed. More grist for the mill of your innocence, as it were. It's quite the coincidence. The place you sent me just happens to be the place Calliope was attacked. That is quite the coincidence. You must be very grateful. Ah, uh, it's just hard to trust a coincidence that big. You have no reason to be suspicious. I know nothing of what happened to Calliope at the reliquary. I suppose the question at the heart of this is, do you believe me? I'm trying to, Pan, but you make this really hard. Ah, yes. Doubt. What a fascinating concept, and an excellent reason to hesitate. Alas, it is my burden to be forever condemned by my idle brethren. I've become accustomed to it. Truly. I've never lied to you, Grace. And I never shall. If you're looking for innocence, however, <laughs> well, I'm afraid that's one thing I cannot provide. And if I can't accept that? If I find out you're somehow involved in this? You'll do what you do, and I'll do what I do, and we'll see where that takes us. That's my cue to go, isn't it? If you must. There are always alternatives, you know. You could live the high life, Grace. Throw caution to the wind. Embrace what you can before you... Uh, uh. Before I die? You don't have any hope for me, do you? You're just taking what you can get before it's over. I've seen this story many times, Grace. I've told this story. Many times. And it always ends the same way. What's the point of even getting to know me then? Right? This must be the Viper's Nest. Scariest part of town, no sign. Just that one dude glaring at everyone. 
Well, I'm here now. Just another day in the life of an idol. Breeze, of all the places to run into a friend. Pan, what are you doing here? I'm the one who told you about this place. You didn't expect my curiosity to get the better of me? You aren't just curious, Pan. Why are you really here? The truth this time. I need to have some dastardly ulterior motive other than to be of assistance for shame, Grace. Uh-huh. It's true. I am a bad man, and I spoke poorly. I did not, however, want you wandering into this without advice. Medusa is the one who turns people into stone just by looking at them, right? People, yes. Idols, not so much. Or that's my assumption. I'll admit to not knowing if she's ever turned her gaze on one of us. I could go in there and boom, statue time? Hmm, maybe. Probably not. If you have any advice, Pan, I'm all ears. Well, I assume you know how Medusa became what she is. Apollo mentioned it, yeah. It is a sad, sad tale. Athena cursed her. A travesty of justice if there ever was one. Thing is, Athena no longer has the power to undo the curse. Or so she says. What I'm trying to say is that Medusa is not happy about it. Perhaps that's something you can use. Apollo said she's some kind of spy master for Athena. Is that right? A truer description, I'd say, is that she's more Athena's servant. Poor thing can't survive on her own. So she's become whatever Athena needs. Spy master, enforcer, provider of garden statuary. She sounds terrifying. More importantly, Grace, she's clever. Medusa will be no simple target. Medusa's clever and works for Athena, but what's she really like? Uh, she doesn't exactly come to the parties, Grace. Medusa is an enigma to most of us. If idols hide in the shadows, she lurks in even darker places. She's an outsider, and she loathes us as much as she needs us. Is she dangerous? Let's just say we're all rather relieved she stays away. Okay, enough talking. Time to do this. See? That's the spirit. Now there's simply the matter of getting you in before she's aware you're here. And you'll help me with that? As best I can, certainly. Though I do hope you have some kind of plan. A word of advice before we proceed. Once you find Medusa, make the number a knockout. My good man! What in the three hells is the meaning of this? Sir, you're gonna have to... I'm going to have to what? Do you have any idea of what it took for me to come all this way? I am a producer? A producer of records? Yes, records. And, th and that makes me very Nicely important done. in the just keep industry of record producing. Around. I... Where uh... is the entourage to greet me, I ask? How do you think this treatment will reflect upon your mistress? I am offended. Offended!
Who's that there? You've messed up my flow. Just get your drink, girl, and take your seat. Oh, it's the Mew. There are sacred bites. And then there's this sacred bite. So
Stop it! Stop it, Pan! You have no right to interfere! It's been a long time since I played these. Good to know the old pipes are still warm, hmm? What the heck did you just do? Snake charming. Medusa can't help but be enthralled. Big on, Pest! How dare you invade my sanctum! Oh, I see. W would you prefer I resume playing? Hmm. You ready to talk? Oh, fine. Fine. What exactly is it that you want, pretty muse? You were at the reliquary the night Calliope was murdered. I want to know why. Blast! This is why I didn't tell Lady Athena. I knew it would come back to haunt me. I only followed pretty Calliope to the reliquary. I never spoke to her, never even caught up to her. I swear it. But you were there that night. Yes, yes, I admit it. Ugh, Lady Athena will have my head. She'll mount it on a pike. Whatever you might think of me, I had no part in the Muse's death. I did not even know she'd been attacked until I saw her fleeing. You followed Calliope to the reliquary. Why were you shadowing her at all? I am Lady Athena's spymaster, yes. Calliope has been trouble from time to time. Trouble enough to keep an eye on, hmm? I keep watch over every idol who no longer lives in Olympus, but especially Calliope. When I realized she was headed to the reliquary that eve, I followed. I had a duty to Athena. You haven't told Athena any of this? Now, now. Don't make me charm it out of you, my dear. I, I told her Calliope was at the reliquary that night. I did not tell her I was also there. Why not? Wouldn't Athena find out from Hecate anyway? No, oh, I, I, I was not thinking clearly. I panicked. I... Lady Athena barely tolerates my presence as it is. If she thought I was involved in any way, if she even suspected... Did you ever find out why Calliope went there? I was never close enough to ask. When I drew near to the reliquary, that is when I saw the muse fleeing. She was frightened. Bloodied. Dying. A tasty snack for you to hunt down. I gave chase, yes, but to discover the truth. I knew Lady Athena would wish to know. That does make sense from your perspective. I didn't learn the truth until later. Then it was far too late. Asterion said he caught up with you out in the fog. Is that right? I thought he was the one who had attacked her. He is a great beast of a creature. Oh, that seems rather unlikely. The bull's as gentle as a lamb. Yes, I only realized my mistake once I caught up to him, and by then the muse was gone. And you never found her afterwards? I thought she might flee to her pretty home, or to the sharp and prickly Persephone. She did neither. Yeah, she came to see me. Why should we believe you? You did just try to eat me, remember? I am telling you the truth. One that conveniently paints you as innocent. You presented an opportunity. Oh, to taste the sweet, sweet blood of a hero once again. Uh, it, it's a problem. I've been working on it, I really have. Oh, Medusa. Well, what of you? The only reason I knew Calliope was going to the reliquary is because you informed me. Well. Oh, is that so? It is true. But, Grace, I can explain. I'll bet you can. Let's put a pin in that for the moment, shall we? I am a monster. It's true. I do not deny it. It's still, I did not kill the muse. Okay, let's say we believe you. For the moment. Whatever you do, pretty muse, I beg you. Do not tell Athena of my indiscretion. Show mercy. I know what I am, Horrifies you. Horrifies you. 
implies me as well. I cannot help what I am. I did not ask to be cursed like this. Indiscretion, huh? It's quite the word for it. I cannot apologize for my hunger. I can only apologize that I am so very weak in the face of it. I'll think about it. I am a lost and cursed thing. <laughs> no idol. If Lady Athena should learn the truth... I hope you find what you seek, pretty muse. And that we meet again someday. And sing a different song. Now, before you say anything... You knew! Right from the start, you knew Calliope was there that night. Well, yes. She asked for the key and I gave it to her, no questions asked. I never lied to you, Grace. I said I didn't know what became of Calliope at the reliquary, and I didn't. But I wanted to, so I nudged you in the right direction. Why? Is there some reason you need to know what happened to Calliope? Is that so strange? Don't we all desire justice? You sent me to the reliquary because you wanted justice. I am trying to help Grace. In my way. What do you, what do you mean, in my way? What, is, what, what way is that? <sighs> the way where I don't take all the blame. What else will I discover, Pam? I'd rather learn it now than later. I wish I could tell you, Grace. I truly do. <laughs> oh! If it isn't, uh... The lovely Grace? You knew! Right from the start, you knew Calliope was there that night! Well... Yes. She asked for the key and I gave it to her, no questions asked. I told you I didn't know what happened to Calliope, and that's the truth. I did not. So I... nudged you in the right direction. So you were what? Just trying to be helpful? You still aren't telling me something. What possible reason would I have to- Tell me! Right now! Medusa learned that Calliope was going to the reliquary because I told her. Now before you say anything, I had no idea of the fate awaiting our dear muse. And you yourself said Medusa was not responsible. I simply had to know if I, if I'd inadvertently, rather innocently... Sold her out? She came to you for help, and you gave her whereabouts to the highest bidder. I am trying to help Grace. In my way. What do you, what do you mean, in my way? What is, what, what way is that? <sighs> the way where I don't take all the blame. What else will I discover, Pam? I'd rather learn it now than later. I wish I could tell you, Grace. I truly do. Hey, hey, so what's the news, Miss Muse? <laughs> Miss Muse? <sighs> Does a muse have a proper form of address? I just want to hear what exciting adventures you've been having. 
Well, I、uh, stopped the goddess of love from killing herself. I guess. Whoa! Do gods have interventions? You know, they're nothing like I thought they would be. Everything else okay though? Do we know who the killer is yet? Not just yet. No. Okay. Well, let me know if there's anything I can do. If I have to hustle to become your high priestess, well, so be it. <laughs> What are Kaz and Brian up to? You didn't tell them anything, did you? No, I told them you came home, that you're okay, but that you're having a moment. They send their love. Should we tell them? Do you think? What for? They have their own problems. Plus, Brian can't keep a secret to save his life, and Kaz is officially homeless. Is he still crashing on Brian's couch? Uh, Grace, you do know that Brian doesn't have a couch, right? Just some giant beanbag things. Then where is Kaz? Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's cute. They'll tell us when they're ready. But right now, it's best just to not mix them up in this. Exactly how much do you know about the Greek gods, Freddy? I know my Greek mythology, but what I've read clearly doesn't line up with who they are today, or who they ever were. Maybe still might be useful. There's got to be some truth to those stories, right? Maybe. Who do you want to hear about? Just how many of these gods are there? From what I've heard, lots of idols live around here. Well, there are tons of minor gods in Greek mythology, hundreds even, depending on how you define them. Oddly, there is never any mention of the word idols in relation to them. Maybe it's like how people worshipped idols. I sort of assumed it was related to the idolon, which is a Greek word, but I think it means ghost, an image of someone after they die. Makes sense. Me, I'm more amazed at all the big names missing. Not just Zeus and Hades. Most of the Olympians seem to be gone. Makes you think about what's been lost, but also what might still be out there. Hmm. I wonder how much of those stories are true. Yeah, it's hard to say. I'm giving you the quick version. There are reams of textbooks out there covering all this, but. Even they rarely agree with each other. Really, nothing definitive. Ancient Greece was three thousand years ago, Grace. Not much information survived all that time, if it was even valid to begin with. I should really apologize about the band. This kind of puts a dent in your plans, doesn't it? You're right, Grace. How dare you sabotage my dreams? I am so mad I could spit. You know what I mean. Nobody could have seen this coming, sure, but it's always been something with me. Well, as I see it, there are two ways this goes down. One, neither of us gets back to the band. It was just a thing we did for a while before I founded a cult in your name. Or two, we get back to it, and the band now has the muse as its lead singer. Edge of Elysium becomes the coolest and most appropriate band name ever. Ugh, I still really hate that name. Look, Grace, you can't be the source of all the drama and name the band. Okay, that's the rule. Okay, that's enough questions for now. You sure? I can talk all day. You know I can. I'll check back with you soon, Freddy. Time for more mystery solving. Grace, back again so soon. Did you find Medusa after all? You've been on my mind ever since you told me about her. I did, and it was fine. I told you it would be. Okay, it almost wasn't fine, but it worked out. Nobody got hurt. I see. Perhaps you'd best tell me what happened then. That sounds like quite the harrowing experience, one that could have gone very poorly indeed. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were worried about me. I will always worry about you, Grace. Is that a good thing? <laughs> I'll take it as a good thing. If you've cleared Medusa's involvement, 
That still leaves us with Pan. Have you confronted him about it? He admitted to selling out Calliope, but not to killing her. I don't know if I can believe him. I've never thought of Pan as a liar so much as a manipulator. Still, he would do anything to protect himself. I'll have to give this some thought. I did tell you we could discuss your memories and the Eidolon more in depth after the party. Uh, did you have any questions, or...? When all these memories start to return, will I feel different? Well, let's see. It starts as dreams you'll have of places you've never been, people you've never met. Fleeting images, feelings. Then they'll appear while you're awake. You'll be eating breakfast and suddenly recall when you last ate something similar in the 17th century. The only difficult part is that eventually it can be hard to differentiate between your life and all those other lives. They blend together. It does sound confusing. <laughs> A little, yeah. And not all the memories will be good ones. It can take time to process. How many times have you died? Can I ask that? Well, we call it passing on, meeting the Eidolon, and it's fine. I've passed on 12 times that I can recall. So your name isn't really Apollo? Most recently it was Lucas. Everyone Lucas ever knew is gone, however, so these days I prefer Apollo again. Lucas? <laughs> Seems weird to think of you as a Lucas. <laughs> It was weird for him, too. Much like yourself, Lucas becoming Apollo was somewhat of a surprise. Sounds like there's a story there. You said it becomes hard to differentiate your life from the others. How hard, exactly? It'll still be me, right? Grace, would you say that who you are is at least in part due to your experiences? I guess so, sure. Well, you'll have a lot more experiences. They won't feel like someone else's either. It will feel like you did all those things. They will shape who you are now, just as they shaped Calliope and all those who came before her. The good news is, you won't get all the memories. Each time we pass on, the older memories fade. Wait, how is it good that old memories start to fade? We're many thousands of years old, Grace. If all of those memories returned with perfect clarity, you'd... you'd drown in them. Yeah, but doesn't that mean you've all forgotten so much? Tell me, how much do you remember from when you were a small child? Bits and pieces, I guess. Not much. It's the same for us. The further I try to think back, the more blurry it becomes. I remember the important bits, but little else. Some of the really old memories. <laughs> There's so many mortal stories that get mixed up with them, things my previous selves learned as legends. It becomes hard to tell. It takes time, Grace. You'll remember all the lies you've led, but at a pace you can handle, and nothing more. Tell me about this Lucas. How did he become you? Or is it how you became Apollo? Apollo had taken to surfing. He left the city without permission and roamed the coast looking for... Well, I'm not sure now. Whatever it was, he found it one night when a giant wave took him down. He was drowning, and he thought... I thought... This is finally it. But it wasn't. Lucas saw Apollo struggling and swam out to save him. He pulled us ashore, but it was too late. It took a long time to realize what happened. I didn't return to the city until years later. By then, everyone thought I was Apollo's chosen successor. So no trial for you, huh? It wasn't easy at first. Without memories or 
anyone to guide me, but no, nothing like that. Wait, what would have happened if Lucas hadn't tried to rescue you? What if no one was there when you... When I died? Uh, then the Eidolon of Apollo's line would have ended forever, I think. You think? <laughs> there have been stories about Eidolons that survive for a time and go wandering. That's probably all they are, though. Stories. It's not something we've had much opportunity to study, but normally... Death without passing on is, is how an idol really dies. Forever. It's a lot to consider. Assuming I'll even have time to worry about it, what with the trial coming. Hopefully this eases whatever concerns you might have had. Anything else you'd like to discuss while you're here? I'd like to know a little more about you. All I know is you live in a dump, you have an oracle, and you... I'm not sure what to tell you. One day has bled into the next for so long I feel like I've been lost in the spaces in between. Wow, that's a bit dramatic. Yeah, well, it comes naturally. Music and the arts were once under my purview as a god. How did that get decided? Did you have a big hat full of pieces of paper and you all picked at random? No, we chose them for ourselves. Some, at least. Others were given to us by our priests. We collected godly responsibilities like marbles. People collect marbles? Oh, um, or, uh, whatever it is mortals collect these days. Cars, perhaps? The point is, we took our godly duties very seriously. That's all I can think of for now. I'll see you around? Of course. I look forward to it. Oh! Uh, hi, Grace. I can just call you Grace, right? That's my name. Where's Freddy? She went out to get snacks. We were going to watch TV while we waited, but, um, well, here you are. Waited? Were you looking for me? <laughs> All over, yeah. Athena sent me to find you, but it wasn't easy. Yeah, you must have been busy. Yeah, because I stand trial soon. Right. Right, that makes sense. Anyway, uh, I guess Athena wants to talk? I can zip us over to Olympus anytime, if you're free. So this is what you do? Fairy people around? I'm the god of messengers, baby! Travelers, doorways, any kind of transition, really. The old Hermes said that the transition part made even more sense for me, which, you know, extra cool, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's true. I can connect any two doorways anywhere. Just like that. So it's super easy to take people wherever. I don't mind. You mentioned the old Hermes a lot. You knew him? Yeah, I was homeless for a while. It wasn't a great time, and he took me in. Everyone's on the same journey, he used to say. Only the roads are different. And then he went on his journey. Man, I still miss him. Every day. Wait, isn't he still inside you? Aren't you kind of the same person now? Mm, not yet. It's only been a year. Maybe I'll feel him again one day. That'd be nice. Do I have a choice about seeing Athena? I'm not in the habit of being at anyone's beck and call. I mean, I guess you could say no, but I wouldn't. If Athena wants something, she's gonna get it eventually. She had that look in her eyes, like she really wants to talk to you. She could always come here. Everyone else does. Athena entered the mortal world? <laughs> and now she doesn't do that ever. Can you imagine? Ugh. <sighs> 
I suppose there's no point in putting it off. Do your thing. Take me to Olympus. Okay. Oh, uh, when you see Freddy, tell her I'm sorry I couldn't stick around for the movie. And mind if I say something? Sure. You've changed. I mean, from the person I met when I first came here. When... You know. You got it together really quick. Hmm. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. There you are, Grace. Do have a seat. I prefer to stand, thanks. As you like. You've certainly been busy, haven't you? Everywhere I turn, there you are. Including the reliquary. Oh. I'm uncertain how you got access, but even you must have realized it's off limits. Particularly for your mortal friend. Am I not supposed to be proving my innocence? Would you prefer I did nothing? I'd prefer you didn't break any other rules in the meantime. Such as? Do you have a list I can read, or do you just make them up as you go? Hmm. You think our judgment was rash? It was. In truth, I worried that giving you time, letting us all get to know you, would make it harder in the end. I am sorry, Grace. You may not believe it, but I care deeply. I care about what happens to you and to all the idols. Do you really? Let's explore where all that caring has gotten them, shall we? You're holding on with a grip so tight, your knuckles are turning white. But that's not enough, is it? Every idol I've met is either lost or broken, or both. They're all slipping through your fingers. If you actually cared about them, you'd do something about it instead of sitting up here worrying about your precious rules. Zeus was the first to leave. King of the gods. And we don't even know what became of him. Vanished into the ether. Poseidon was next, walked out into the seas, never to be heard from again. Ares betrayed us. Hephaestus saved us. Hades was murdered, and by one of our own. The list goes on. So you add to it. I show up and you kill me off because you can't be too careful. We are dying, Grace. I don't mean diminishing or drifting apart. I mean our immortality is disappearing. Very soon now, the idols will be no more. We are a legacy that spans millennia, dating back to the very dawn of humankind. So yes, I care. I will do anything and everything in my power to avoid that fate, even if it appears unfair. You know, it's too bad. <laughs> I've been an idol for five minutes, and I've been out there solving problems you've all wrestled with for how long now? I could have helped you, Athena. I could have helped all of you. But you don't see that, do you? You're so busy holding on to what you have. 
You can't see what you're throwing away. I know we've put a great deal on your shoulders, Grace. I do. All I called you here to ask is that you please not make my job more difficult than it already is. If you have any other questions or concerns, now's the time to bring them up. All right, let's talk about Medusa. Met her, have you? Is it true you can't remove her curse? Or is she just too useful? I wish I could remove the curse. I'm afraid the Athena who bestowed it is long gone. She was prideful, that Athena. As prideful as she was powerful, I'm ashamed to say. The current Athena is responsible for everything she's done. I am well aware, Grace. What is it that you would have me do, exactly? How about deal with her? Make it so she can't hurt anyone else. Perhaps you're right. I've been too lenient with Medusa over the years. And it's time that ended. Now, if there isn't anything else... What do you know of Pan? Pan? That's not a name I expected to hear. Been sniffing around you, has he? I have some suspicions, and I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Pan lurks at the edges because he likes it there, seeking out whatever profit he thinks he can get away with. <laughs> Avoid him, dear, or he'll stick to you like gum to the bottom of your shoe. Who has access to the reliquary? Is it anyone with a key, or...? Does it matter? You gained access, so clearly it is not difficult to get. Speaking of which, I don't suppose you'll tell me who gave you that key. The same person gave it to me, who gave it to Calliope. And who gave it to Calliope, then? I see. Okay, so you don't like Pan much. I get that. But do you think he could kill someone? <laughs> We've all killed, my dear. I was once a warrior queen, feared by mortals and gods alike. A another idol, I mean. Is that where your investigation has led you? To Pan? Sort of. But I feel like I'm missing something important. Maybe the goddess of wisdom could help me out? It would be helpful to know what Calliope was doing at the reliquary, but she's not available to ask. Not until you regain her memories, at least. Why not put off the trial until then? Seems like a good way to solve all this, yeah? <laughs> and trust what you decide to share? I think not. Speaking of the reliquary, you went there, right? Once Hecate told you what happened? Mm. Yeah, I was not impressed by the delay. If you had known about that, the night Calliope died, would it have made a difference? Hmm. The chances are exceedingly small that you attacked her there, it's true. Yet, Calliope was weakened, which made her more vulnerable prey for an enterprising mortal. One she knew. Perhaps the incidents are connected, perhaps not. I cannot afford the risk of uncertainty, Grace. I'm sorry. I guess I'll get back to my investigation. I am rooting for you, Grace. If there's another way to resolve this, any way at all, I will take it. Will you? Really? Good luck. Feel free to take a cookie on your way out. I can't say I'm surprised. Athena has always struggled in a crisis. Well, that's a nice way of putting it. Remember, she was a warrior. When pressed, she's always turned to that aspect, sought to maintain absolute control. It'd be hypocritical to say it's wrong of her. She's battled for me as much as for anyone.
I do have sympathy for her. She feels like she's the only one fighting to keep the idols alive. I'm certain it seems that way. To her. She kind of sounds like my mother. Well, then you're fortunate. Athena has guarded us faithfully for almost a thousand years. Sadly, while I'd prefer to stay in her good graces, I doubt that will be possible. Uh-oh. What now? You may not like this, but you need to go back to the reliquary. You know, Athena said something to me. That it'd be nice to know what Calliope was doing there in the first place. As usual, you're way ahead of me. It's the only piece of the puzzle we're missing. Calliope went there because she had a plan. But what plan? If she left clues behind, wouldn't Hecate have found them already? That's a really good question. Remember how I told you it'd be years before you got Calliope's memories back? Well, that's true, but not entirely. Okay... Those memories are inside you. You go somewhere important to Calliope or touch something special to her, you will get flashes. Feelings. Do you want Grace to go to the reliquary so she can have deja vu? Whatever happened to Calliope there, it ended her life. All we need to do is uncover those memories. Are you sure about this? You want me to wander around hoping something comes to me? Am I sure? No. No, I'm not. Oh, that's comforting. What if Medusa is lying? What about Pan? We could look into him some more, couldn't we? Oh, well, do you have a way we can look into those things without encountering even more lies? <sighs> Deja vu it is. Last time Freddy and I were there, Hecate wouldn't let us into the reliquary. Not without Athena's permission. Okay. Do you want to ask Athena for permission? It just seems like a radical step. For you. A week ago, I would have said that breaking into the reliquary couldn't be done. A week ago, I couldn't have imagined being here. My stance on a lot of things has changed. If you have another idea, however, I'm happy to go along with it. What about the alarms? I'm not eager to have Asterion chasing me through the fog. Calliope snuck in without setting off any alarms. At least at first. Well, I'll be following in Calliope's footsteps, won't I? What if I follow the wrong footstep and set them off? Then the alarms bring Asterion and Hecate, and all three of us do a great deal of apologizing. Let's just hope that's all those alarms do. Let's say I do this. What am I hoping to find? Some memory of what happened to Calliope, even a flash. Anything that gives us something to work with. And if that doesn't happen? Make it happen, Grace. As if your life depends on it. I can really see why the idols call you the cheery one. I'm sorry, but why is she here again? Is there really no other way? This seems a bit desperate. I think that's kind of the point, Grace. There isn't much time left, and I'm out of ideas that won't take more time than we have. Well, there's always running, right? Grace leaves the city, goes on a world tour, becomes rich and famous. It's just me. Okay, then. Right, then. Back to the reliquary it is. Any idea how you want to do this, Grace? Because I'm game to help. Cool. I'm sure we can figure something out. I can't go into the reliquary with you. Not without tipping off Hecate. But I won't be far. If I get the slightest sense that something has gone wrong, I am coming in. Still, promise me you won't take risks. I'll try. Ugh, can we just get on with this already?
So, that is now. Oh, you were uh, expecting us? It is written that you would come, yes. <laughs> that is so cool, I kid you not. Yet it was also written that you would sneak into the reliquary as Calliope did, so this encounter is... unanticipated. This book of yours really isn't as accurate as you make it out to be. The course it lays out is almost always correct. The smaller things, they are subject to free will and frequently change. However, even without the book, I do understand why you've come. Is there a reason why you believe my answer will be different now? The only reason you won't let me in is because Athena forbids it, right? She is the one to whom I made my promise, yes. What if I said that she's a suspect in Calliope's death? Is she a suspect? She's an idol. I don't know that she's not a suspect. Yet. Without more evidence, isn't her command potentially self-serving? You will regret this. That is also written. That is a yes! Go quickly. Look, but do not touch. The reliquary stores many artifacts, some dangerous. Got it. Okay, Grace. What the heck do you do now? Of all the times to not have Freddy around, she'd love this. First things first, how do I do this? Where do I even start? Calliope must have been here. She could have stood in this very spot. Maybe if I just... focus. It's weird, like, I've definitely been here before. Is that a weapon? A musical instrument? Hmm. Maybe it's both. I don't get any feeling from that. Will I know it when I see it? What did Freddy say about mazes? Was it always go left or go left and then go right <sighs> is this an armory too freddy are you out there can you hear me all that'll do is tell everyone where I am. They should really charge for tours. It's kind of amazing. I don't even know what language that is. Shouldn't that be in a museum somewhere? This is it. Calliope was here. 
She was standing right here. And she... for Hecate? Are you guardians or something? Okay then. Happening. Why didn't it work? Don't work on them, they just keep coming. You summoned the Furies. What? Those beings were the Furies. Beyond all our laws. Not idols, but the embodiment of retribution. How did you draw them here? I didn't. There was a, a big mirror, but I... I didn't even touch it. There was only one mirror of which you could be speaking. That used by the goddess Nyx to contact the fates. Using the mirror would not have brought the Furies down upon you. Not unless the fates themselves decreed it. I don't care what brought them. They killed Freddy. You need to help her. I have no power over life and death, Grace. None of us have that. This was no defense or spell of the reliquaries. I do not have the power to summon the Furies, and I know none who do. You should consider yourself fortunate, Grace. They do not desist until retribution has been exacted. But now is when you leave. Pray the knowledge you obtained was worth the price. How can you say that? I didn't mean for this to happen! Your intentions are irrelevant, Grace. All choices have consequences. I didn't choose this! I wouldn't have let her... We have to leave. We have to leave now.
Grace, I'm... I'm sorry. I know what Freddy meant to you. It should have been me. Not her. This was my fight. My problem. I'm already slated to die. If anyone paid the price... In repeat history? Would you rather have died there, passing your Eidolon onto Freddy instead? Freddy gave you a chance. Gracie, is that what happened to Calliope? Was she attacked by the Furies as you were? Yeah. She meant to use the mirror, but she never had the chance before. Before they came. The Furies. Sent by the same person, I imagine. Who could send the Furies after me? Even Hecate had no idea who possessed that kind of power. Even in our prime, none of the idols had the Furies at our beck and call. I mean, perhaps Zeus, but <laughs> he's long gone. I honestly didn't know the Furies still existed. <sighs> Clearly someone can do it. I mean, uh, unless they weren't sent. Unless they were responding to something else, something... You done unwittingly? I'm sorry, I, I'm afraid your guess is as good as mine. If the Furies are so powerful, why did they stop? They just... stabbed Freddy and left. They're not assassins, Grace. They're enforcers of the old laws. I imagine they decided the debt was paid, whatever it was, when blood was spilled. The blood didn't have to be yours. So if Freddy hadn't interfered... Then they would have come after you. And they wouldn't have stopped until they were through. Not ever. What are the Furies? They didn't seem like people. They're not. Hecate called them embodiments of retribution, and I suppose that's the best description. They go back to well, the time before my memory. I was once told they were created to enforce the most ancient laws. There are ancient laws now? Decrees one couldn't break, written in blood. Laws even idols abided by in the days of old Olympus. But those surely died with Zeus. Even if they hadn't, you can't have broken any. They're not easy to overlook. I know Calliope was there to use the mirror, but it was just feeling. I don't... I still don't understand why. Well, apparently she wanted to speak to the fates. Yeah, okay, but why? The fates are primordial beings, like the Furies. They're said to control destiny. Perhaps Calliope wished to know her destiny. Or change it. I'm not sure. Can these fates really control the future? They're tied into fate, as I am. Perhaps they're even where my power stems from, or how Hecate's books are written. So someone really didn't want Calliope messing with them. Or you, apparently. Could it have been the fates? Maybe they don't like being called on now for anything. I doubt it. If they didn't want to answer the mayor, I'm certain they simply wouldn't. I don't know what to do. We still have no idea why Calliope wanted to talk to the fates. Why not ask them? <laughs> you too have caused quite the stir. Hecate is beside herself, and Athena is out of her mind. Well done. How long have you been listening? Long enough to know that you need another way to speak to the fates, unless you're planning on trying the reliquary again. No, not a chance. We'll find the truth on our own, Persephone. <laughs> if you sent Grace to wander about, looking for Calliope's memories, you're already out of options.
Wait, what, what's this about some other way? What are you talking about, Persephone? May I explain it to Grace, or do you have another option, Apollo? If so, now's the time. I thought not. The fates will respond to the ruler of Hades, the true underworld and realm of the dead. What I propose is that we go there and take back the throne that was stripped from me. Is Apollo right? Is this something you planned all along, Persephone? Meaning what? What, that I knew what would occur at the reliquary? Perhaps you think I'm the one who unleashed the Furies upon you. You've waited for this opportunity for over a century. Waited, yes. Bided my time. And the moment has arrived. But you came here to help, right? And I came here to help. Is that something we can do? Just go to the land of the dead and... Uh, overthrow it? Truth be told, there isn't much to overthrow. Few mortals still believe in Hades, and thus... its halls have been nearly empty for eons. So how do you... The throne itself is the key, both symbolically and literally. Claim it, and Hades is yours. But you can't claim it because you're barred from Hades. By a rule that we would need to break were we to do this, yes. How do we get to Hades? Do we need a key, like the reliquary? Athena took my key, and the entrance at Lake Avernus was sealed long ago, which leaves only Hermes. They won't take you. They might, if you ask them to. So your promise to help Grace was an empty one? Step up! for once, and do what she needs you to do. Get us there. I'll lead us to the throne, and Grace can speak with the fates. It's simple. So if we go to Hades and uh, find your throne, how much trouble would that get us into exactly? A great deal. It's not as if Athena could execute Grace a second time. But she's already been warned about breaking more rules. The responsibility of this will be mine. Let Athena try to take my throne again. What's well, another crazy plan, right? Grace. I know, I know, but <laughs> there's no point in stopping now, is there? Sorry, but this is a step too far. And consider this, Apollo. Grace's mortal friend was slain by the Furies. According to the old laws, her soul is in Hades. Hold on, wait. What does that mean? If her soul is in Hades, then... It means the ruler of Hades. Can release her. That's assuming everything remained as it was. Fine. I'll get you into Hades. But I'm not going with you. If that's what you prefer, by all means. It's fine, Hermes. Get this over with. Shall I wait here, or...? No, no. I'm not gonna lie to them. Hermes has always treated me fairly. Oh, hey, if it isn't Apollo and Grace, and, um, Persephone. Wow, uh, the whole gang, huh? I'm afraid I have to call in that favor. I need you to take Grace and Persephone to Hades. Oh, man, I don't know. Athena specifically said I wasn't supposed to take anyone, you know? No matter what. Oh, this is pointless. They're never gonna help us, Apollo. Can I ask what's going on? Nobody ever tells me anything, and you want me to get in huge trouble, but for what? Freddy's dead, Hermes. What? When did that happen? She was killed by the Furies. 
That means she's in Hades. Probably. I have to try to find her there. You're her friend too. I, I know you wouldn't want to abandon her. Okay. Signal when you need to come back. You sure? Yeah, feels like the right thing. Be careful, Grace. And remember, the Underworld doesn't give up its shades without a price. I think I can tell her the rules, Apollo. Let's go. Welcome to the real Underworld. So empty. So lonely. It's not completely empty. Neither is the throne, for that matter. A bitter shade named Orpheus has been squatting on it since my exile. I fully expect he'll be waiting for us. You didn't think to mention earlier that the throne was occupied? Because it's irrelevant. Orpheus isn't an idol. He's just an angry little man clinging to an existence that doesn't want him any longer. And what are we supposed to do? Organize an armed resistance? Challenge him to a duel? That's what you're here for. I'm gonna fight him? <laughs> oh, you'll see. Who is this Orpheus? The name sounds familiar. It should. His is a popular tale among mortals, regarding how he once came to the Underworld to retrieve his love, Eurydice, and left with nothing. <sighs> Hades tricked him, you see. And with Hades dead, the blame has evidently fallen to me. So he's not a fan of yours? <laughs> he is not a fan, no. Not that it matters. so there's an angry ghost sitting on your throne. Anything else about this trip you've neglected to mention? Come. It's time to cross the Styx. The ferryman will come soon. As we are not dead, you will need to convince him you are worthy of passage. State your case clearly and with determination. I am Persephone, also known as Despoina and Core Sotiera, once queen of the underworld, and shall be again. No, Caron, I did not bring you any cards. I am not here to entertain you. My name is Grace, also known as... Grace. I'm here to, uh, help Persephone regain her throne. Why else? Did you assume I went on holiday? I'm glad you think so, but I wasn't relaxing, and I'm certainly not about to start. No, no, she didn't. Neither of us brought games to play with you, Caron. Stop asking. Oh, I'm sure we can come up with something to amuse him. See? You don't even need to 
interpret that for me? Yes, what fun. Thank you for encouraging him. Let's get underway, Caron. It's a long ride to the throne room. I wouldn't touch that Way too much for you Overload you Blow a fuse Every story Every memory Winds up here time I collaborated with someone so talented. No offense, Ben. Hey. Welcome to my underworld. Let me treat you to a song, a welcome gift. I have the floor. It is mine, after all. Muse, any requests? Questions? What's your problem with Persephone? Do, 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 loop it. Do, do, do. I didn't do what I was told, didn't know that it was all a game. I didn't think that he would do it. Then Eurydice was gone. And Persephone stood right beside him and said, what a shame. He was always gonna kill her and you knew it. Got to help 
the throne. We can't just leave it empty, can we? All that going around in circles, digging up old wounds, and for what? So you can fight over a chair. There. What gives you the right to interfere in this manner? That throne was not yours to break. I'm sorry, it just... It felt like the right thing to do. Oh, Grace, you are infuriating. Is there a voice in your head that tells you to make decisions for everyone else? There really isn't even a small part of you that knows this had to happen. Knows what? I should toss aside something I paid for, bought with the blood of my husband? So what's your plan now, Grace? 
I assume you must have one after that big demonstration. My plan? It's exactly the same as it was before. You've lost me. Come on, Persephone. Do you really expect me to believe you just showed up at my apartment eager to help? You wanted to do this, but you couldn't. You needed to convince me, to convince Apollo, to convince Hermes to help you. And for that, you'd say anything, right? You'd tell us there was a way to contact the fates. Which there never was. You're correct. And Freddy? If the throne alone could bring somebody back from the dead, surely even Orpheus would have figured it out. I should have realized it sooner. Before we ever came here. I guess neither of us is as smart as we think we are. And neither of us will get what we want today. As opposed to your original plan, where that would have only been me. At the very least, I had hoped we might find your friend's spirit. Why? We can't bring her back. Not without great sacrifice, no. No, the rules of death are clear. Yet, you might have spoken to her. I... I know what it's like not to get the chance to say goodbye. I've actually been watching you since you arrived. It's not like there's much else going on. Fred, I... No, no. Don't even start, Grace. I made my decision. I don't regret it one bit. You shouldn't even have been there. I never should have gotten you involved. Hey, no. You didn't get me involved. I got myself involved. And look what happened. I got to be the hero of the story. Just for one shiny moment, how cool is that? <laughs> this isn't a story, Fred. <laughs> You're wrong. It is a story. And you need to finish it. Without me. I guess this is it, huh? Almost. I found someone while I was down here. Someone you really need to meet. Calliope? This... You you can't be real. You, your soul is inside Grace. My Idols don't is inside Grace. The rest of me I'm here, Persephone. And this is real. I uh, guess you two were better acquainted than you said. Huh, Persephone? <laughs> we parted ways years ago. Persephone couldn't take my lectures any longer. I'd take them now. I miss them. No, you don't. Think about how bitterly we argued at the end. Don't blame yourself. Not when there are so many fond memories to cherish instead. I, I don't get it. I thought the Eidolon was Calliope's soul. But if that's true, then... The Eidolon is what makes us an idol, but it's not our soul. Each of us adds a piece to it as it passes on. But what about the memories? The memories are but a reflection. And after the Eidolon is passed on, old memories become a reflection of a reflection. That's why the idols have forgotten so much. This truth once, Persephone. Long ago. We 
need to know what happened to you, Calliope. How did you die? Why didn't you come to me? If you were in trouble, I would have protected you. I know you would have. But I couldn't let you be drawn into Apollo's prophecy as well. Apollo's prophecy? He didn't tell you? No. I don't suppose he could have. It's a long story. You don't mean to say that Apollo is responsible for your death, right? But his prophecy is. Yes. It said I needed to die. Someone else knew about the prophecy. Athena. No. Then she sent the Furies after me when I went to the Reliquary. I barely escaped. I fled back to the mortal world. To you. Why come to me? Of all the places you could have run to, why come to my apartment? Because I was dying. But I couldn't save you. I barely even knew you. I was wandering the streets that night, wondering if I should go to the reliquary or just flee. And I heard you singing. I followed you home after to see where you lived. I didn't know what would happen to me, but I thought, just in case, I knew I had to hold out until I reached you. I don't blame you, in case you're wondering. You don't? You didn't ask for all this to happen. You did the best you could, Calliope. Thank you for saying that, Grace. Truly. Apollo hates using his power. Why would he have given a prophecy to Athena? Because she demanded it. She was desperate. How did you even find out? Apollo was horrified after he delivered the prophecy, and he refused to stay silent. And he came to warn me. He was torn. Telling me meant I was locked into it. I still think he did the right thing. Though I expect he disagrees. Why did you go to the reliquary? We know about the mirror, but... You wanted to annul the prophecy. And the fates are the only ones who could. If they would even help me. I doubted it, but I was desperate. I never got the chance to ask. Someone told Athena where I was going, and she must have realized what I meant to do. But uh, how did she get the Furies to attack you? They aren't pets. You didn't break any of the old laws. I don't know. Maybe it's something the ruler of the idols can do. But you'd have to ask Athena. You went to Pan for the key to the reliquary, right? Yes. He's the reason I knew about Nyx's mirror, actually. He told me about it... long ago. He told Medusa where you went. She, I expect, told Athena. Oh. Pan couldn't have known what it would mean. I didn't explain. That's it. You forgive him, just like that. I'm sure he feels... guilty enough, my love. What was the prophecy? Surely, I need to hear it. If I tell you, you'll be locked into it, just like me. But the prophecy doesn't just say you have to die. There's more to it, right? They always require interpretation. Apollo told Athena that. He begged her not to jump to conclusions, but maybe she was right. It doesn't just involve you, does it? It involves me. It must, or you wouldn't hesitate. <sighs> Athena wanted to know if there was a way to save the idols. The answer was this. The idols cannot continue so long as the last muse lives. And I'm the last muse.
Do you blame Athena for what she did? She wanted to save the idols. And I wanted that too. Well, I blame her and Apollo for not telling us what she'd done. If he had, Grace would have been locked into the same fate as Calliope. We... we... we don't know that. I have to go back. And I have no idea what will happen. None of this seems real. So many years of history fights the highs, the miseries. I'm so Return. And I see Freddy isn't with you. I'm so sorry, Grace. Did you at least get to speak to the fates? No. Then what happened? Then we found Calliope. Calliope, but her Eidolon is inside you. How it could... doesn't work like that. The Eidolon is only a part of an idol. The rest just... Calliope told us what happened. The prophecy. How you warned her. How you've been lying to us. You knew. You knew the truth this entire time. Even when you said you were helping Grace. Yes. Yes, I did.
Why did you agree to help and then lie? You even said you thought Pan was responsible. I didn't know how she died or who else was involved. But you knew Athena was behind it. I thought I could nudge you in the right direction. Help you find the truth without learning about the prophecy. Well, you failed. We know it now. Then it's done. You're locked into it. Isn't the prophecy open to interpretation? Couldn't you be wrong about how it ends? When am I not wrong, Grace? That's right. Leave. It's what you're best at. I don't know how this will affect your trial. We could tell them what we've learned. Even without proof, it makes enough sense that Athena couldn't just brush it off. But if she believes you need to die in order to save the idols, if she truly believes that, it won't matter what anyone says. Does there still need to be a trial? If we go to Athena privately, maybe we could work out some kind of deal. She won't make a deal. All that will afford her is a chance to kill you before the trial. <sighs> she tried that once already. And your friend died as a result. No. No, it's a clever thought, but... Athena needs to be challenged in front of everyone. When you go to the trial, I'll back your play. Up to and including overthrowing Athena. Calliope would approve. But what about... Just so you understand. Our chances aren't good. I suggest you do whatever necessary to prepare. Great. Pan? Are you here? Pan! All right then. Guess I'll just head off. I thought you didn't want to see me anymore. You're not here to yell at me, are you? No, I, uh, wanted to apologize. Apologize? To me? Well... For thinking you might be behind Calliope's murder. Turns out that's not the case. Oh, <laughs> then you've learned something, haven't you? Something not exactly pleasant. I see. Isn't that always the way? Tell you what, Grace. Let's indulge in one last transaction. Relay what you've learned, and I'll see if I've any advice to offer. Okay. Where do I begin? Well, of course it was Athena. Wait, you knew? No! How could I? Hmm. So what now? Let the prophecy play out. Huh? Let it play out. It doesn't say the last muse will die. Just that she must for the idols to continue. Perhaps the idols shouldn't continue. Seems reasonable enough. I doubt Athena would agree. Or many of the other idols, for that matter. Yes, well, if history says anything about the idols, it's that we're a bunch of reactionaries who make poor decisions. Frankly, change is long overdue. Continuing on as we have been isn't appealing, and I doubt I'm the only one who thinks so. 
I'm rather looking forward to the trial now. <laughs> How exciting. Did you forget something, Grace? It felt like we hadn't quite finished our conversation. It seemed pretty finished to me. What more is there to discuss? How about you? Are you okay? Oh, I am many miles from okay, Grace. Don't you... Want to talk about it? Oh, Calliope would not have approved of the way I acted. <laughs> but then she seldom did. It was so good to see her in Hades. To have her say she forgives me. Just wish it were as easy to forgive myself. You could apologize, you know. We could start over. From square one. You shatter my throne without so much as a by your leave. And I'm the one who apologizes? I could go first, if you like. I'm sorry. <sighs> I'm sorry, too. Believe it or not. Is that better? It's a start. Is it any easier out there? Do you miss being a mortal, Grace? Eventually I will. I'll always wonder what I might have become. I never gave it a second thought before. Now I wonder. It's you. Paul comes in, mopier than his usual mopey self, and won't say a word about why. But of course, it's you. Look, I know you care about Apollo. I'm not here to hurt him. Uh-huh, yeah. And uh, why should I believe you? Because I care about him too. I... I guess I can go ask him if he wants to talk to you. Don't be surprised if he says no, though. It's all right, Oracle. I think Grace and I need a moment alone, if you please. <laughs> oh, sure. Don't mind me. It's not like I was in the middle of anything. I know how Persephone feels. But not you. You'd have every right to be furious with me. I'm not. I was surprised, sure. But I, I get why you did it. I think. I wanted you to find out about Athena without learning the prophecy. Yeah, it was difficult to help without helping too much. Even pointing you at Pan. I was hoping he could be pressured into assisting more. When I first became Apollo, I was so sure I could help people. Help the world. I ignored the warnings. I have no idea how many lives I ruined before I stopped. 
I never should have given in to Athena. This one time, I thought that maybe, maybe it would be different. You don't know everything, Apollo. Half the problem is that you and every other idol thinks they do. What do you mean? Trying to prevent the prophecy is what's making it come true. So you want to, what, stop trying? Maybe. I hope this doesn't change things between us. You've come to mean a great deal to me. I feel the same way, Apollo. I guess all that remains is the trial. Whatever happens, Grace, I'll be standing right there by you. You'd better. So this is it. All your new friends have lied to you, but somehow they're gonna get you through the trial, right? I wish Freddy were here. Like a boat lost at sea With no sails Not a breeze I am drifting cold waters No star to be seen I'll embrace the fire as it burns deep inside Bright enough to guide me An ocean defied But as I burn We've all turned away one by one In the end am I alone Like a boat lost at sea With no sails, no breeze I am drifting cold water, no star Everyone is already waiting for you on Olympus. I thought this was Olympus. <laughs> Not this office building. My word, no. Welcome to Old Olympus, dear. The 
Is this a real place? It's the memory of a real place, which for us is the same thing. Let's begin, shall we? Brothers, sisters, everyone, look around you. We few who remain fled to this new land to escape the war, but we are not out of danger. I waited to tell you until I was certain, and now I am. The idols are dying. It will not be long before even our immortality deserts us. The time for extreme measures has arrived. And you'll be the one deciding which of those extreme measures is implemented, right? You and no one else. <laughs> when has there ever been anyone else? Each of you is here because I brought you here. I protected you. I carved out this space in a strange land so we could survive. I am at this trial to tell you that, as always, I will look out for you. I will save you. Trust in me, Pallas Athena, daughter of Zeus and leader of the chorus, and I will do anything it takes to keep you all alive. You'll do anything? It must be difficult, feeling as if everything is on your shoulders and yours alone. One moment of weakness and it all falls apart. You've been doing this for so long, you don't even know how to stop, do you? Oh, dear child, why on earth would I stop? Because what you've done is wrong. If it wasn't, then why not come clean? Go on, tell them about Apollo's prophecy. The idols cannot continue so long as the last muse lives. Isn't that how it goes? It's true. We spoke to Calliope in Hades. She told us how you sent the Furies after her. She... You couldn't have. Yes, I could. There's more to an idol than just the Eidolon. Maybe you even knew that once, but you've forgotten it. Just like all the idols have. You don't know everything, Athena. No, no, I do not accept this. You, you, you are lying. You're the one who's been lying. Or would you like to explain to the idols how you murdered Calliope based on a vague prophecy? Tell them. Yes, it's me. It's me. Of course, it's me, the one who gets it done. Don't you see? It had to be. You all turn away when I got the fish. Then you cry, hooray, once it's on the dish. That's how we do. Yes, we, yes, you and me, I have always cared for you, I'll always do all these things for you. Just you. Time to put you in jail. There are 
idols too. You irritating speck, aren't you aware? The muse is dead. Questions creep, they'll burrow in my head. What did I do? What didn't I do? All this time, you've shown us what to sing. Wisdom, that's what you bring. Is that still true? Coming from you, your lost little boy. You've lost all perspective. You're ready to throw this away, to throw us aside. I'm not hearing wisdom here. I'm hearing pride. None of you see. You want to make the call, you need to hold the map, you cloistered children. It's time for you and all who stand with you. Yes, you too. Now listen, I'll be crystal clear I'm saying this to everybody here No substitutions, no, you're all too dear We're keeping everybody, everybody Everybody leaves this place alive Get 
to somewhere right But it's been too many years since the mainland was in sight There was a voice in me that shouted Athena, you be strong Be strong No cost is great enough It was wrong I was wrong I was wrong and now I don't know what the right thing is I leave it up to you what to do with this been talking forever. We're done, yes. And? You certain about that chair, brother? You've always said you didn't want it. I think it's about time, don't you? Responsibility suits you, Apollo. Maybe one day you'll even button up your shirt. Well, fortunately I won't be in the position long enough to find out. We've decided to disband the course. No more laws, no more hiding from mortals. It's time the idols found a new way. You're planning to tell everyone what we really are? <laughs> Isn't that risky? We'll give it some time to let those who are afraid go into hiding, but it needs to happen. We have to rejoin the world. I have a few thoughts as to how you could go about revealing yourselves. I was hoping you might. If there's time, we could prepare a campaign. A campaign? You make it sound like preparing for battle. It is, kinda. The idols would be stars before you know it. If you're famous enough, there's only so much that can be done to you. Now that is a marvelous idea indeed. Could you all give Grace and I a moment, please? Well, you did it. You survived. We did it. I would have been lost if you hadn't stood beside me. I was just trying to do the right thing. And now you're leading the idols. <laughs> I'm proud of you. And I you. You stood your ground with Athena and won. A feat even the mightiest idols have never accomplished. Wasn't like I had much choice, right? I want you to know that I'm not going anywhere. Whatever happens when we reveal ourselves, whatever comes, I go where you go. So no running off to hide in your dingy apartment? Oh, I think Oracle prefers to be there alone. And no lame excuses? My excuses will be much better, I promise. What do you say, Grace? Ready to face the music one more time? Always. Mm -hmm. Of course.
course you're both here. In my apartment. Why wouldn't you be? We were waiting for you. How does it feel to be the idle spokesperson appearing on every newscast, reputable and otherwise? I'm exhausted. The Oracle has been keenly following your progress. She records every appearance, every interview. She may be your biggest fan. The way she talks, you'd think she never doubted who you were. Well, at least she's been of great help to your online campaign. Everyone here has also been busy. Would you like to hear the latest? Has anyone heard about Athena? It's been a while. The revelation of the idols to the mortal world went far better than she could have dreamed. I... I think it shook her. Well, she was wrong about a great many things. As the goddess of wisdom, that's not an easy realization. So she left. Back to the old world. Back to the old world? It's a long way to travel by herself. Well, I asked her to go. There's so many of us who went missing during the war. The idols going public might bring them out of hiding. Athena wanted to leave, and this gave her a purpose. We'll see if anything comes of it. I'd like to know what you've been up to, Apollo. Other than whining like a sad puppy every moment that you've been away? I haven't been... Well, all right. Maybe just a little. But mostly, I've been taking charge of the idols remaining at Olympus, helping them ease into life with the mortals. Every day, he parades about the city with idols in tow like frightened ducklings, showing them how the world works. But Apollo barely knows how the world works. <laughs> well, that's what makes it funny. It's the blind leading the blind. I've also been tidying up the beach house, finding the Oracle a new place to live. A new place to live? Why? So he can invite you to live in his little beachside hovel, that's why. I was going to say that myself. Later, when you were finished and back for good. I really like that idea. Assuming you've hosed the entire place down a few times. I'm in charge of the renovations. I'd have preferred to burn the entire place down and start over, but... It's quite livable now that Persephone's had her way with it. We can talk about this more later. How about you, Persephone? Any big changes? Not yet, though I may be selling the club very soon. The Underworld? Why? I don't need a substitute for the real thing. That's all it ever was, and I'm fine with having neither. That said, I've been itching for a change. I believe it's time to move on to something else. Do we get to know what that something else is? <laughs> no, you don't. I came by to give you all my regards, such as they are. After this, you likely won't see me for quite some time. You will be missed, sister. More than you'll ever believe. Is Hermes still around? I'm surprised they're not here with the rest of you. Well, we've barely seen them of late. Hermes has been busy. They've become a social media darling. Or so the Oracle tells me. The truly amusing part is that they're not even trying to be famous. They simply can't help it. Hermes likes to people please, it's true. Hopefully it won't backfire on them. Fame is a double-edged sword. Hermes lives a charmed life. Never fear. Well, it's odd seeing their face on so many billboards, but I agree. Let Hermes have their fun. What about Pan? I haven't seen him since the trial. No one's seen him. Should we be worried? It is Pan, and what he does will reflect on us all. Pan is harmless. Uh, mostly harmless. As far as I can tell, he did regret his involvement in Calliope's death. He'll lay low. At least for a time. He'll be back with some new scheme to make us all groan. You're not wrong. Is 
Is there any word yet on Aphrodite and Eros? They left the city a while ago. Eros sent word, yes. Uh, Aphrodite has started uh, a spiritual retreat in the mountains. Let's call it a cult. Whatever it is, he says it's been helping her. Being the goddess of love to the world once more has at last brought her peace. I thought for sure they'd go into hiding. Aphrodite fears mortals more than any other idol, doesn't she? Hence why she surrounded herself with only those who shower her with adoration. As I recall, sister, you also headed several cults across the centuries. The Eleusinian mysteries weren't about shoring up my ego, Apollo. What about Venus? Did she go with them? The mortal? I don't believe so. Last I heard, she opened a gallery. Aphrodite's become her patron. Venus has painted most of the idols. I sat for her last week, in fact. It's made her rather successful. What about Hecate and Asterion? Are they still at the reliquary? Hecate leave the reliquary? I'd sooner believe the sun would go out. It doesn't hurt that they seem enraptured with each other's company. Asterion is all Hecate is willing to discuss. Do I need to know every detail of his sexual prowess? I do not. Didn't Hecate say it is written that she and the Minotaur would eventually break up? Well, eventually, for Hecate could be centuries from now. In the meantime, she gushes about her new boyfriend like a schoolgirl. You should hear Asterion, then. His gushing puts hers to shame. I'm happy for them both. <sighs> I still can't believe it's all over. Oh, it's scarcely over, Grace. Now that you've toppled the castle, it's barely just begun. Well, I didn't do that. On the contrary, you absolutely did. <laughs> Perhaps we should leave you alone, Grace. You must be tired from your trip. Perhaps a round of drinks at the Underworld, in Calliope's honor. I'd like that, actually. Uh, Persephone, could we just meet you there? <laughs> Fine. I will, however, begin drinking without you. <laughs> Something on your mind, Apollo? You, Grace. It's always you. Take my hand for a minute Let's stop and breathe for a moment There's so much to like Now I've opened my eyes I've finally stepped into the light Wouldn't you know it was here the whole time The courage we need to be joyful is something we'll build over time I now know it's true The answer is you And I will be here for the ride Yes, I will be here for the ride How will you feel years from now? Everything's changing so fast we have eternity to work it out With you, I think it will last The courage we need to be joyful Something you've helped me find No matter where we go, we'll take it slow And I'll hold your hand all the while Courage we need to be joyful is something we'll build over time. No matter what we do, the answer is you. I will be here for the ride. Yes, I will be here.